Let's begin this show. Last week, all of you guys met with Serenor at the guild. You were told, hey guys, uh, your applications have been approved. You're going to go on this mission. It's pretty simple. Stop these guys from uh, robbing people on the road and get the merchant's wares back. His name was Moist. You went, you talked to Moist for a little bit, uh, found out that his his wife was a horse. Um, of course. <laughs> of course, of course, a horse, a horse. And you met Miss Robin, who uh, uh, gave out some tea and some little okay. pepper, uh, little uh, pepper bread. And then you guys hit the road. You try to do sneaky, sneaky, ultra sneaky stuff. Um, two of you uh, succeeded at it. And then the diversion that you guys actually set up did go uh, well. But these exactly things, that it, it did go as planned. And uh, these blink dogs were just a little bit faster. They were a little bit more stealthy. But it's to be known, you know, bandits, that's what they do. They, they bandit stuff. And uh, they were able to take some of your goods. They did, they did not attack. Uh, they did not bite. They didn't do anything besides steal. And you murdered them. Uh, actually, I say you, Pavoni. Uh, Pavani just That's jumped off. Self -defense. He just the man of the cloth murdered all of them. He the <laughs> the life domain cleric. I'm not a life domain cleric. He, he you're, you're not anymore. Cleric. Not after that I'm, showing. I'm a light domain cleric. Yeah. Okay. His favorite like, thing is snuffing the light from creatures' eyes. He jumped off the cart. Well, did of some course, burning. If they don't have it. There's more for me. <laughs> jumped off the cart, did burning hands, did a whopping 12 damage onto I didn't eight jump off the cart. I was pulling the goddamn wagon. Oh, that's right. Well, you it, look at a, at a certain point you were on the cart. I can't keep up with who's on, who's off it. I ha I had to move the wagon cuz Jocasta pulled her back. Oh, that was, oh, I forgot about Jocasta pulling their back. <laughs> that's, that's right. True. Jocasta Jocasta still has disadvantage on anything strength. Um, uh, your back is pulled, Joe. It'll be okay. After you take a long rest, it'll be good. Um, anywho, you killed the four creatures riding the blink dogs. They blinked away, but before they could get, uh, any further, Bell threw wildly his boomerang into the dead of night, hit a dog. I uh, tall, I uh, lurked through the, looked through all the, the bushes, shot another one dead. Um, with, with her insane accuracy. And then Johanna tried and failed twice to, to, to get up a cliff and then fell on their ass. And as they were falling, they let out a magic missile. And as it came back streaking to the ground, it did hit a couple of dogs and take them out as well. So good job, everybody. Bastards. A lot of, lot of, lot of death. Uh, bullshit. If no, I then, remember, uh, uh, Joe Costa threw me into a wall. Oh yeah, that's right. Joe Costa <laughs> also threw you. That's right. Joe Costa also threw you into a wall, which was super cute. If yeah, I remember, just prone. He's not moving. He's just prone. If I remember correctly, Tall would like to uh, shoot a couple of arrows at these dogs as they as they blink away. Now yeah, I know chase after I know you want to chase after them. They get they get forty feet of blink and eighty feet of movement. They will be outside of your range very very soon. But effective if, range or total range? Uh, effective then total. But you you basically have two shots. Okay. Uh, can I move before I take the shots? Uh, you can. Uh, as of right now, they are a total of 120 feet away from you. Holy crap! All right. Yeah, that is uh, out of my effective range. Yeah, a a blink is 30 foot, and then their movement speed is 40. They take an action because blink is not that beast's action; it's actually an ability. So they can blink and they can do an action. So they That's took their rough. actions to run. So you can, uh, you know what? I'm just going to, because they're all, are they off screen yet? Yeah, I well, took them off screen. Yeah. Uh, what I, I'm, yeah, I wouldn't be able to shoot them because I don't have dark vision. All right. So I'll just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw you down a, I'm going to throw you down a doggo because I do have their, their health stills. Okay. And you're going to shoot that doggo Six. twice. All right. Now, not to uh, shoot myself, quote, end quote, in the foot, but do I do this at disadvantage or at normal? Uh, you have a short bow. Range. What's the range What's the range yeah. of your short bow's effectiveness, the first number? Uh, it's, the first one is 80. I think uh, short bows are 80, 480. What is, what is your movement? Three, 320. Uh, my movement is uh, 30? 30? Yes, 30. 
uh, you can actually get... So the first attack that you do uh, will be not at disadvantage. It'll be regular, and the second one can be at disadvantage. Because the first one, you could, you, could, you could basically move 30, and then... Um, and I'm doing that. Yeah. So... Oh, you don't have to actually move it. This is, look, this is a this All is right. a scenario okay. combat that we're about to do because they um are effectively off screen and running and I've got to fucking find where I put these guys. Hello, uh, NPCs, creatures. Ah, here we um, go. <clears throat> Chef, I'm going to assume I do not have enough time to swap weapons into a crossbow and I can't even see shit. So I'm going to yeah, assume I can't do anything. Not really. Yep. Yeah, and the lights are all off, so Yep, I figured as much. So this is all tall. Yeah, tall. Go ahead and that blink dog that I just threw down in front of you. You go ahead. First attack, regular. Second attack, disadvantage. All right. All right. You Pretty killed casual. one of them as they ran, and then the second one. Second one. Oof. Oof. Nope. Missed second. All right. Oof. So that would have been a good hit. Basically, there was one more dog out there that you heard, woo, yelp, and then the fourth one, uh, book tell. But you did get to see the direction that they were going in before they, well, kind of. Your dark vision only okay. goes so far. Okay. You're basically shooting into the dark, and you, you got one of them, but not the second. All right. That's cool. I'm, I'm good with that. Okay, and then the first one, the, the advantage-disadvantage, because you would have had disadvantage because you can't see out that far, but because you're in darkness, I, I just figured that your advantage for being in darkness would cancel out your disadvantage. It only stacked once. The that second one, though, was a little bit too far for, for it to make any kind of sense. Anyways, all right, so you got one more. I went ahead and put the dogs on their little loot chest, the ones that are right in front of you, and I will... Do the same with the second one because it did have one of your guys' med kits on there. But you guys can go ahead and loot the the puppies on the ground if you'd like. And uh, the ba the All scene right. is yours until you guys are ready to move. All right, Tell moves up on the first blink dog. Pavani is also approaching, and he's got a torch lit up, so he can get up and did, move. Did about we get him? Ah, <sighs> two down. Let's see. Oh, look, there's a boomerang. Do I still need to come up then? Um, if we want to chase after them, then yeah. Uh, okay, fine. All right. What do we have here? I, I rummaged the southern one. Yeah. yeah. Actually, you know what? For anyone that's climbing, I I would like strength rolls so I can laugh at you and point my finger and go, ha, I ha, figured ha, ha, as ha. much. That's why I asked. <laughs> Do we have a uh, a group party loot that we can put uh, things into? Or? If I remember correctly, you can split it, can't you? Yeah. Inventory well, split, split loot. loot. I yeah. To, I wanted to take the boomerang so that I could then give it to its rightful owner. Yes. I do not have that right now. I will get you one. That's on my to-do okay. list, but uh you can just split okay. the money and I'll give I'll get I have his boomerang. So if you okay. want to just leave it, you Actually, no, because you're going to RP giving it to sleeping him. <laughs> well, that wasn't as hard as I thought it was. Have fun with that. Oh my goodness. So as uh, Z-File uh, looks up, her she, she sprouts some, some mushrooms on one of the ledges and just walks up them like stairs. Well, I, that wasn't as hard as I thought it might be. Um, hey, guys. Hey. You you know hey. what, Tall? Uh, you could always throw that boomerang back at him. <laughs> Tell him to but catch. <laughs> Tell him to catch. <laughs> it's technically <laughs> disadvantage because I'm prone. Uh, how about I just take it and then hand it back to him? Because, I mean, I mean technically he's part of the party. I don't want to injure one of our own. Just saying. Yeah. She's okay with, you know, injuring others, but not when they're part of her group. How how sensible of her. Right? Well, because he could potentially still help to take down other bad guys when he's awake. All right. Is Johanna going to get over the wall? Uh, she's kind of leaning oh, over, not. looking down at uh, presumably dead uh, Belle, and kind of, like, panicking. 
Oh. And she is going to shout out again again. Uh, Bell, would you please like move your big toe if you are in fact alive? Uh, you see him kind of like completely still. Uh-huh. Uh, and he like turns his head a little bit and he's just passed out on his pillow. Oh. Uh, uh, tall. Uh, you see Pavani grab some currency from this dog and is just counting coins. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, three gold, two silver. Well, at least we know where your mind's at. Yes, yes. It's considered reimbursement for what they pilfered. Great. I yell back, hey, uh, <laughs> anybody, anybody get an idea? Is, is Bell all right back there? I found a boomerang. He's not dead. All right. That's a so, start. Is, that, is it a check to, cut, uh, to get back down there to pick him up? No, no, you can just you can just hop down. No, I don't think I can. Oh, I there's a wall to... there. Boop. Yeah. Boop. Lands on her feet. No further back injury. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, go ahead and gingerly try and shake Bell awake. Bell, come on, we gotta go. The dogs are getting away. You know what? You have a good point. You should roll for to see if that back oh, injury. Oh, just no. roll a d twenty. <laughs> just a twenty. It's a low. You have to get a ten. You know you're fine. Just to see if it twinges. Okay, as, as it, un, unlike before, as, as you hop down, it doesn't twinge this time. So that's good. It, it might be healing. I can jump. <clears throat> I can fight. <laughs> ah, <Bella. laughs> so uh, is it another check to just like put him over my shoulder like a sack of potatoes? Are you sure you want to do that? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> it's, if I remember correctly, it's only an opposed check if they resist. No, I'm just talking about the pain. No, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, that was my going to be my second point. Uh, sure, why not? You know, if you ask him really nicely, he could probably send his uh, his his uh, his hand up up a little, and then he uh, could actually use it to to like just get up the damn hill. Oh, uh, Val, would you be ever so kind as to use your magical floating hand to help you move up the hill so we can go and chase those dogs so we can get our med kids back? He just kind of moves uh, his head off the pillow. Good morning. Good morning. Uh oh, we're still outside. Yes, we're still outside and wind chasing after dogs who weren't like stealing for stuff. Oh. And he just like looks around. Where did they go? Uh, up the hill. He just looks up the hill. <laughs> And then he just he just puts his head back down. Uh, it's too far up. Tal yells over and says, "Do you want your boomerang back or not?" He uh slowly gets up. <laughs> found just, my boomerang. <laughs> yes. Are we shouting across the cliffside now? Yes. They I already think know so. we're here. Yes. They already know we're here. Well, fine, if you want to be a big target. Uh, so Bella's going to attempt to climb up the hill. I figured, your, uh, I figured your unseen hand, you, you know, like in those like war movies where like you're trying to get up a hill and then like your part, like the partner's hand just out of frame comes down to like grab your hand as you're about to fall and like pulls you up. I figured I that's don't what think, I don't think my hand could do that when it's already attached to me. <laughs> You know what? I have an idea. That hand uh, isn't, though. Coming out of my back. Uh, so I should do an athletics check, right? To try and climb up the hill? <laughs> yeah. Cool. How heavy you... is the boomerang? Uh, pretty good, apparently. I guess I'm, real, I guess I'm really good at climbing. Mm-hmm. It would have been the cooler way to be all military about it. Ugh. You're up. A boomerang right. is technically weightless. Wait, no. Come on. Can I get a hand? <laughs> and uh, in in that case, as extra incentive, uh, Tal takes out her mage hand and places the boomerang in the hand and uses it to taunt Belle. Like, here, little Belle, here you go. Pavani you... is just sitting on the cliff looking down at folks. Would you like Why your mage you... hand, Tal? <laughs> sure. All right, I'll pop, pop it out. Johanna, uh, what are you laying on the floor? Because the sky is a bastard. The sky or the guy in it? 
<laughs> Avani <laughs> says nothing but looks cross. So inside that mage hand, there's a boomerang. I'm, I'm Bell's gonna let his mage hand down for Jocasta. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work, but here you go. Is it like immaterial? Is like my hand gonna go through uh, the mage hand? No, you're no, gonna. You, you can you're, hold on to it. Yeah, you'll have advantage getting up. Uh, oh. though it can't lift anything bigger than ten pounds. Yeah, it's just uh. helping. It's like it's like someone <laughs> it's like someone like very gently lifting your shoulders, but you're doing all the work. Yeah, yeah. it's it, when it you're moving furniture, mean... it's just a pinky at the end. It's... Wait, then it's still advantage though, right? Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't that mean just your disadvantage from your back is canceled out? No. Why did you have to say that? I mean, I mean sixteen. Uh, yeah, sixteen, or I mean, yeah, an eighteen or twenty-one. You you get up. You get up. Gotta get up. I love uh, all these. Go through the impassable wall. Yeah, I got you. Cool. Oh wow, that let's works. go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Let's go. Oh my boomerang. Okay, this is oddly entertaining. Isn't it's it like though? Where Where did you? everybody get all these hands? I've always had mine. Look at you. You look so small down there. <laughs> Bell puts his uh, hands on the rock cliff, and you just see him like. Climb up, he gets up a little bit, and then just like slides down. Please, please, I mean, he slides down and goes back to sleep, though. And just like he's just, he's just like puts his head against the wall. I can't do it, it's too high. You see Pavani just kind of look Ow. down, stare at you, and just. <laughs> oh, that was worth it. He just like lays his cheek against the rock wall and accepts that this is where he will be from now on. Oh, this is no, very entertaining. The Tal's mage hand moves a little bit closer with the boomerang taunting just out of reach. Come on, Bell. It's right here. All you have to do is climb up and get it. Give can I guys. try again? Yeah, you can try again. With your Scooby Snacks. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> slide on the cliff. Please. Go ahead. You know what? You tell me what happens. I like this better. I feel like he climbs, like he gets really close to the top, and then he's like about to put one foot to get to the like the, the next step so he can get right over it, and it just like crumples underneath his foot, and he just goes sliding all the way back down. <laughs> Pavani, I'm... observing this, just goes, Tis even funnier the second time! <laughs> I love how none of us are reaching over to help him. No, no, it's the, I was about to say, any other attempts will have to be somebody no, actually yeah. collecting him. Z, Z just got her ass planted, and she's just waiting for this to play out at this point. Well, I guess this is where I live now. Oh, no, it's not. Joanna, would you give me a hand? Hmm? What? Uh, Joanna pulls out the quarterstaff and hits him with it. <laughs> oh. Okay, do it Get then. Up. I don't want to make an attack, an actual attack roll with it. Oh, okay. I'm not trying to oh, hurt him. I'm just, I'm just Why lightly is everyone hitting, with hitting a stick. me today? Get up. Pavoni, Joanna. Get up. The wall. Has the wall. Even seen him, the wall did hit you, though. He's right. Wait a minute. Has everybody in this party but Z hit <laughs> Bell? Probably. <laughs> I don't think Tal's hit him. I think I, yeah, I don't Tal, think Tal's Tal over here and hit him. Z and Tal are, are the only ones who haven't. Technically, I haven't hit him either. You it was did. just an accident. The accidental. wall hit me. I should add more cliffs. I feel like I don't have enough cliffs in this game now. No, no. Our, our true enemy, a cliff. <laughs> I failed to get to the door. Too many cliffs. Look, I'm just a, a shop owner at this point in the game. I ain't helping anybody. Yeah, he just, rests, he just rests against it now, and this is just where he is. Go on without me. I'm a lost cause. Stop poking him with the stick. Ow. Get up. Get up Ow. already. Ow. Pavani is just sitting on the edge of the cliff now. Ow. Tal Stop moves that. over to the edge. Ow. And le re leans down and throws her hand down and says, Come on, let's go. He does what do you do? It's so much fun to watch. No. Bell's I'm hand will grab kind of, her kind of hand. Right. <laughs> and his hand was made. Oh my god, you, you should definitely use shape water and no. throw water on him. I can do that. <laughs> well, we can't make water with shape water. Someone's got, you've got water no. on you. 
Actually, is it is it foggy out? Uh, yeah, it's foggy I think out. Everybody has There's a, a water uh, skin. Yeah. yeah, everybody has a water skin as their basic equipment Actually, too. if it's the shape will auto specify that we can't just use like the fog. That's yeah, sure. Us. You can collect it. I'm cool with that. Mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> just... quickly cast shape water to to, to to just drag a lot, an entire bit of fog out, and just put it on top of Bell and splash it on. Him. You see, like a vortex out of the sky come down and condense into water, and just. <laughs> His uh, placid expression now becomes a frown. Aw, now I'm all wet. It's the he first just, time like, he's ever said that. He slaps his face against the mud, and he's just like, this is his life now. Come on, how did <laughs> we get a mud out slug. with you? Tal is still holding her hand outreached. Come on, let's go. He looks up. It's going to be way harder <laughs> now that he's all wet. <laughs> 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 wow. I almost feel bad. Almost. <laughs> was that a was that an emotions check? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's a good one. I like the motion check. Bell will like reach out his hand like eh. he doesn't even try to make like this the astral hand go up the wall. He just like reaches out like futilely with his actual meat hands. <laughs> meat hands. Just... So, well, I suppose Tal, it's more money Tal, for us. Tal grabs his wrist and says, "Come on, let's go." All right. So, and, are you are you gonna pull I, him up? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna at all. You're gonna you're gonna be doing all the work. How high is this cliff? Try. It's like it's like ten foot. It's not bad. <laughs> it's it's really short. Wow. It's, so we gotta prop him up. Jackass is gonna go ahead and get beneath him and try and like prop him so they get close and over the kill. All right. So with your guys' strength combined, pulling and pushing, you guys hoist Bell and plop him right on the ground on top of the other. Just, like his ass is hanging off the cliff. You just got him up here. No more, no less. He's For the wet, record, covered in mud, tired. For the record, Pavani did nothing. Oh. Yes, Pavani did nothing. <laughs> like a champ, yeah. Johanna, you. You look, you look at the cliff like it's your arch nemesis, and just bolt it. Turns out when nothing is trying, when I have to kill nothing, it goes very smoothly. Once Bell gets to the oh. top of the cliff, he just kind of face plants. Mm. Let's and, just hope there's no more cliffs along the way. <laughs> Tal, move, Tal moves her uh, mage hand within reach and just dumps the boomerang right on top of Bell. He accepts. Here. He <laughs> this is my life. I'm okay with this. The matron will grab the boomerang and put it in his boomerang holster. Yeah, I'm grabbing it for you. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to lean over and give Bell head pats. <laughs> is he a you good boy? You look like you need a, an extra head pat or two. I'm covered in mud. I mean, what's a little bit of mud? Eh, it suits my you. socks are wet. I don't know if that was a compliment or not, but thank you. I forget what did they take from what did you guys end up buying that they took from you? A medicine Two kit healers kits. Something else. Oh, I think one of the steel mirrors. I think oh, they did... just stole. Oh two yeah, healers my kits. mirror. No, 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 they stole my mirror too. Oh, that's right. Two healers yeah. kits and a mirror. I have a mirror. Did you take yeah, the boomerang, you... Tall? I, I did, and then I tried to give it back to him, and it won't let me drag and drop on him. I got him. Oh, he's... It, still, it says I still have it. Yeah, I think <laughs> I gave it I think I think gave it back to you at the end of the story. I don't think thing. you ever removed it. I don't think, I think so, you either. just put boomerang on dog. I did. Okay. All right, there you go. I removed it. All he's right. He's just thinking yeah. up. His, it his like, whole front of his that? body is covered in mud. Uh, for you, that's a disadvantage athletics check, yeah. unless someone wants to help you up. Uh -uh. Yep, I'm done. So uh, she places her foot on that uh, mud slide right next to her, and I just falls back down again. Oh, Are you pouting? She looks over, looks down, and just doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> no. You can see, you can see Pavani getting visibly frustrated at Bell's appearance. <laughs> Yeah, he is just covered in mud, like front face, like does not even try to get it out of his eyes. 
and watching uh, somebody know. else fail. Cal he dies in the way hand over to help Jocasta. If he dies over the course of this, do we do we are we punished as a group if he dies or only if we fail? We only lose points if we don't fail entirely. Pavani just starts cleaning Bell. Oh. You roll me a d20. Let's see how good you do. Can we just do yeah, he just accepts. He's used this to this. Is this the only cleaning you've ever done? You did all right, but there's a lot of water and a lot of mud. It's hard to get it out without some soap. Bell mm. looks down at Jocasta, and then he looks into his bag, and the mage hand comes out, like, goes into it, rustles around a bit, and pulls out 50 foot of rope. <laughs> I was waiting for somebody to do it. <laughs> Oh, does somebody want to pull her up? No, we have more pressing yeah. matters to do. Oh, wait, <laughs> I have an idea. And I offered the hand. The mage hand will take the other side of the, the rope, and it will tie it around the tree. And then he'll just, like, drop the rope down the cliff. This entire time, Pavani is still cleaning Bell. Yep. And he's accepting it. He seems like he's very used to this. So there's a rope and there's a mage hand from Pal as well. Is that another roll? Uh, no, you can just, you can just come up at this point. I think point. rope makes you auto succeed. Yeah, you no, just... rope is a DC five. I'm pretty sure or something like that. We, I, I think we've say, spent enough time trying to get you guys sucks. up the hill. But we could push Joe Costa back yeah. down. No, 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 no. Good lord. All right. <laughs> I, I, let me get let me get all of you guys uh, your stuff situation. So Joe Costa had that mirror up behind you, and you also had a medicine kit. Mm -hmm. I'll have to go and grab him and give you the medicine kit. I think I also had like a healing potion. And um... did you buy a healing potion? No, I didn't. I was about to say I, mean, I don't I, I don't remember that. But it wasn't selling. That's right, I had a potion of greater healing. And... <laughs> you didn't have the money for that. <laughs> I think it was one of the gotcha. And uh, they didn't, uh, they didn't, so he doesn't have that. Nice. The best thing he has is that pipe. Oh, I gotta give that pipe to me. Yeah, it's in my notes. I can for, I forgot because it wasn't D&D &D night. Oh, where are you? There you are. You can have, you can have your pipe back. Your, Hell yeah. Your pipe of smoke monsters. Drag and drop. It's in your inventory. And I just want a second because I've got to do it. And that's rune stuff. All right. We are good to go. You guys done with your doggos? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we looted them. You did. did. Pavani you... is still attempting to preen Bell. <laughs> right. you... I'm just watching him used. All right. So uh, the dogs went a, a little bit away. They went down to the south. I'm assuming that we're chasing after them to find yeah. out where their hold is, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. There's a couple of things real quick. Um, so it's a bit of a walk. Mm. Figured. Um, so we're going to have a couple of uh, survival checks, but uh, we'll just have one of you make it at, at advantage. Who's the best survivalist around here? Not me. Plus four to survival. Plus three over here. Plus zero. A. I've only got plus three. All right, Joe Costa, it's three. you. Go ahead and make it an advantage. <laughs> and this is really, you're going to end up finding it. This is really to see how long it's going to take you guys and how uh, much you're going to have to convince Bell to walk. They went that away. They okay. did go that away. Good on you. Uh, you you pick up the tracks almost instantaneously. Who's got persuasion? We can, you know, maybe whisper in Bell's ear. I can oh. persuade him with a stick again. This walk is going to take you about uh, 30 minutes. I'm assuming it, it's it's at a walk because I don't think any of you guys are going to get Bell to run any. No. no. Yeah, un I mean, unless you want me to be like a turn or two late to the next combat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he is just, he's just walking at as fast as he can move, which if we're talking about D&D &D move speed is probably like 15 feet at most. Bell treats all terrain as difficult terrain. Yes. <laughs> and then difficult terrain, he just falls asleep. 
Uh, nice. Wonderful. Oh yeah, it's still dark. I actually out. have a plus three persuasion. So that's surprising. You you get there as you guys are encroaching on where the uh where the uh where where the tracks have, have, have been like leading you for the blink dogs. You start to notice out in the distance, uh, in the shadow, breaking through the fog, a mountain, a hill. It's al almost unnatural in its formation as it's jaggedy, it's rocky. It doesn't, it's not fully covered with grass and it comes out of the ground as a sh like a sharp angle. Like the mountain itself was punched through the earth, but around it is shrubbery and moss. So it's been here for a while, but the entire thing looks a little off. Doesn't it? Doesn't look like it was just naturally formed. But you do uh, indeed come into this area, and as you get here, the tracks lead you to this exact area that you are. So you don't see the dogs. Did you say it's a, did you say it's a do I mound? still have my torch out? Mountain. I oh, mountain. I think he said a mound. Right now, it looks like people... Do the people have their torches? Oh, no, I think I have someone's I have vision. I have someone's vision fucked up again. That's on me. Fellow's vision is very good. I have good vision, too, I think. No, it's... I, I have... You'll see. Hmm. There you go. Ooh. I still had a torch um, lit. You do. I'm about to light it. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Ooh, nice. That's cool. Blood. I see my dark vision as black and white. Yeah. And then yeah. See the light. That's neat. Yep. That is awesome. So wait, is Pavani the only one carrying a torch right now? Yes. I think I had one out as yeah. well. How many hey, torches you, do you have Pavani on you, Pavani? Flies, does he carry it in his foot or his mouth? Well, that's a good question. I think I had ten. Oh, good. 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 You've only used two so far. Yeah, I had ten. You want me to deduct two of them? Yes. Uh, but that was a good question. Do you carry it in your talon or in your beak when you fly? Or do I you mean, have I, arms? I do have arms, yes, but I'd carry Don't, it in my talons when I fly. Oh, and it's, you know what? That makes sense because if you have that torch right up to your eyes, like you can't even see far out. You know what I mean? It's that it's the, 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 the like the fire, the flames, like blind sight. I wouldn't be able to do it if my feathers were black. <laughs> <laughs> But all right, you've come to the location and you see some tracks. If you look closely in, at the ground, the actual ground that you guys are in, there's tracks that you can follow. Is a black uh, sheep if we can to see them. You can grow. see them. You're not looking hard I, enough. No, I'm, I'm all, I don't have night vision. No, they, you're in a torch area. You can oh, see them I on see the ground. Them. I see them. I see them. Wait, yes. is it those tiny things right there? Yeah, those are tracks. Yeah. Oh, they stopped where the dogs blinked again? Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait, you guys see uh, tracks? Oh, you have to zoom yeah. in a lot. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's yeah, to the left towards your castle. We oh, call that environmental these, these storytelling. These dogs were wearing boots. <laughs> <laughs> Probably mm. stole them. Don't leave me. I can't see in here. Oh, yeah, for everyone legs. else, they're they're seeing. I got short legs. They're seeing this. I, think I have the same movement screen. speed as you. Shh, short legs. It's always short legs. I think I think that she has the same movement speed as all of us. I have twenty five. Unless he flies and it's like what fifty. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He's slower upon the ground. His lifespan is like is like forty years, so that's it evens out. <laughs> twice as he burns twice as bright. Sure, you know it. Well, twice as bright for about twenty minutes before it stops, and then hmm. then we have a delicious smelling meal. Did and now we these, approach a cliff. Did they just go into the cliff? Is that? Can I like uh, feel I around the, the cliff? See if there's maybe like a false rock or something. I think I see a path over here. Did Bell just walk as, into the cliffside? As you guys are over here looking at the Bell cliffside, did? you see Bell disappear out of your sight. Yeah, Bell just what? kind of like blindly is just walking forward. Well, he yawns and closes his eyes as he walks, 
and just uh, walks right into the cliff. Okay, Pavani everybody else saw that, right? Into the rock. Uh, I was watching Bell's token. Bell? Uh, 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 tell, 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 no, wait, come back. Pavani goes into the cliff. As you, as, as, oh, as, fuck, he got the light. As, as the two of you go into the cliff, you, you see, like, like there was a magical shroud over this entrance. And as soon as you get in, you, you can see underneath it. I, uh, you see the dirt where people have, have like dug up and has hollowed out this mountain. Pavani huh? quickly catches up to Bell and just puts a talon on his shoulder. Huh? Where am I? What the devils are you doing? Uh, I don't know. We were following the tracks, right? Bell, you walked into a mountain. He just kind of blinks and looks at you. Uh-huh. Sometimes it's the dumb ones around us that make the smartest decisions. He's very confused. He does not understand. <laughs> I wouldn't even have came in here it's, if it wasn't for this light. It's time it, to stop walking blindly. I mean, it or it's more like time it to walk blindly. Where did everyone else go? We're, we're, we're behind you. One, two, three... Oh, um, Johanna. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or Jocasta, you can walk through walls? No, I don't think the wall is real. Oh, Johanna can walk through walls too. Giovanni no, pinches the bridge of his beak. <laughs> I'm going to hit him again. <laughs> oh, and he just like kind of covers his head. Please don't. It hurt. So yes, you move through, you can, like I said, you can tell that it's been hollowed out in here. You can hear uh, slight drippings of, of water and where it's been. Oh no. I'm going to have to refresh this. <laughs> like right on the border. Uh, you can, you can hear the, like the, the small drippings of water and, and the, the cave echoing through. The ground underneath you is soft and supple. And the rock uh, has markings within it, like somebody has picked away at it. Pavani does his best not to look unsettled by the fact that he's underground. Um, so just kind of looks around. Oh, the water sounds really nice here. Um, is the water the only nice we hear? Some, yeah. Somebody has to... to, to... To go that direction, I'm not walking blindly. As you walk in, the cave opens up, becomes bigger, and you can hear a, a faint humming coming through. Oh, that's not creepy, not at all. Hmm. Well, uh, how far away do you think? Is that creepy? With the walls and echoing everywhere, it's hard to tell how far, but it doesn't sound like it's like right near you. It sounds like it's it's quite a distance away. Maybe, Maybe. perhaps bouncing and ricocheting like the droplets of water, though you can't see and it looks bone dry in here. You can definitely hear water. Do, do you need me to hold your hand? You've got the light. Uh, no, no. I okay. do not need that. Just checking. Pavonius, are you okay? You don't he... look too good. Was that, that insight that you rolled on him? Fine. Yes, I, I, rolled, I rolled deception to look like I was acting normal and not unsettled by being underground. Would, would you do me a favor? Just, uh, you know, like a DM would. Would you give him all the feelings that you're feeling as he is broken through and seen into your soul at this very moment. Yeah, he's just, Bella's just like staring you directly in the face, just like not blinking or not <laughs> moving at all. Just like cocks his head. And Though it, would, it wouldn't have been difficult to spot, Pavani is a little bit unsettled, nervous twitches, doesn't like having such a thick roof over the head. He likes the feel of the sky 
and being confined here makes it sort of claustrophobic. I think Bell's, there's great uh, mushrooms his out here. Mage mm -hmm. hand. And uh, he uh, pats Pavoni's head. There, there, Pavoni. It's okay. I don't need your pity. Well, then get up here with the light. Yeah. Pavani yeah. takes a step forward. <laughs> that helped a little, so thank you. Can we keep on going? That, sure. Oh, should we be moving stealthily? I mean, don't step on anything that might hurt you would be a good start. Why don't you go blindly down the hall there? Why don't okay. you go blindly down the hall there? I won't be blind. Bell starts Wait. walking down the hall. Wait, hold on. There's a hall? <laughs> One step. Oh, that's dark vision. Yeah, I'm in the hall. Same thing. Uh, and then he, he, once he gets in past the light, he realizes he can see. He's like, oh, blindly. And then he just like puts his hand over his eyes so he can't see anymore. Hold on. <laughs> um, okay, we, we may have overestimated him even more than I thought. Well, I did Bell, as you get hallway, as you get closer, closer and closer, that humming becomes louder. Oh, he's also probably because of how slow he's moving. He's probably stealthing. Uh, you guys will just do whatever, and then when it comes time for like, if you would have alerted oh, someone, if you something will, could, yeah, yeah, and then you'll just roll to see were you stealthy while you were doing that. Pavani is just. Very I'm just glancing back to you every step you take. He just looks visibly unsettled, like someone is just walking through a bog and it's seeping through their boots. Bell, as you as you get there, the humming is loud and the echoing stops. And you hear my little rats and their beautiful hair. Mm -mm. And you can hear little shears cutting. Do I uh, feel dirt still on my feet, or nope? Is it more of a? Uh... It's oh, solid. Okay. Oh, and he just kind of like stands there, like takes his hand over his face, turns around, and he uh, motions for everyone to come, but then realizes that nobody can see him. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah, That's I true. can see him. You just see his mage hand just kind of waving. And like motioning to come this way. Does the mage hand glow? Uh, I gave you your mage hand. You didn't take it with you. It's all uh, over there. But I just meant like, does it glow in the? I'll 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 Actually, drop you another one. No, it one. does not. It does not glow. No, I have it's... it. Oh, now I have two. Uh. Yeah, the mage hander. <laughs> mage hander, <laughs> what? Oh. oh, there's someone over there. All right, he is he is paying you. He's paying you no attention. The sight that you're seeing is uh is is this little goblin s dude with a pair of shears inside of his uh, in one hand and a rat sitting in like a makeshift chair and he's cutting the the, the rat's hair and he's just singing to himself happily. If I had the hair that I love. I take it that's nothing good. Let's just ignore him. You would be here for me. Unless we happen to have the ability to silence him. I mean, should I should I should I, should I continue singing or are you guys gonna do something? Yeah, you can yes. keep singing. I'm okay. just, uh, yeah. I just need to get close enough for my mage hand. Pavani <laughs> okay. is just standing <laughs> behind Z like a makeshift barrier. <laughs> uh at, at this point, we're gonna stop it. Uh, I've got I've got a stealth roll for Tall. He's got we're using I'm gonna use his passive, um, and minus it a little bit because he's in his own little world. Go ahead and give me stealth. You guys have to beat a DC ten. Uh, Chef, I think I fail. Already? I I'm carrying a bright fucking Sorry, torch in a dark cave. Mm. Oh, you are, but it's not like. Um, it's still not covering them where the he might be an idiot. Bell He's... stands so still, he just becomes invisible. <laughs> the dice hate me right now. Okay, I yeah. rolled the worst on stealth. 
I, I, I. Second I, I. So does stealth this a regular roll or a disadvantage? It's just regular, but but two two of you have been seen. Yo, look, you're good. You're good. You're good. I, no shit. <laughs> uh, th- this this is what you this is what you hear. Oh, hey, Mike's, welcome back. Give me a second. I'm I'm gonna get done uh, right here real quick. Uh, cut cutting the hair of uh, of these rats, and I'll I'll be right there to take care of them dogs. You guys can just put them away. Mike, I have an idea. Pavani says nothing uh, but looks around. How long does it take to uh, Jerry rig some sort of costume to appear like the unburnt uh, to the, that we encountered on the Mike's? I know you're not mad at me. I hello, and he starts to look up. Well, because no one answered uh, anyone. Like a goblin, <laughs> mites are like a goblin. Uh, can Next. you become a goblin? Oh, I don't think so. G G Willikers, stop! Who who are you? No, you, no, you stop! No, you stop! Stop! What? what? Where, where the hell is Factors? Oh, oh, goodness! Where the hell what's happening? Tell him what Bell, the hell Bell puts it, sends over his name. No idea what I'm shouting at. Z takes a step back because all she hears is yelling. Bell is just like cocking his head, very confused. He sent his mage hand out to pet the rat, and it's just been doing that this whole time. You're tossing his hair. What are you doing? You're gonna mess his hair up. I've been spending so much time getting it just right. Look at it. It's so beautiful. If he dies, it's not my fault. Can somebody cast light inside this chamber? I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm gonna. I just. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Who you are? You, sca- hey, you oh, scared he's me! He's like a goblin guy. No, you scared me! You scared me! <laughs> I can see you! Hey, sh- hey, hey, Chef, real quick. Yeah. Are these, uh, these like, broken weapons on the ground actually here? Yeah. Can I cast uh, the light cantrip on the one, just, like, the broken one, like, south of us in front of this? I can't point, and that's saying to me. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, this, this is one. yours. You can just put it places if you'd like. I don't have to. I don't have the ability to move it. The light cantrip that I just put yep. down. I I don't have man. I don't have uh, authority over it apparently. Do you not? I didn't have it the last time you did it either. Oh, follow my bad. My bad, dog. Hold on. Yeah, next time just cast it. But there you go. There's your light cantrip. You can move. Well, it. Well, if I cast it, it demands a target, so I can't just cast it. Either. Oh, well, you can do that. It's, That's fine. It's silly. That is silly. There That's you go. Quite silly. Mm-hmm. Pavani so, just kind of clears his throat, looks at him and says, I, I still don't have control of it. But... We're here for the, the horse. The... What? The who? The horse? Bell's head cocked. You know, it's Mr. Moisture's wife. I... <laughs> oh, that thing. Oh. I, uh. The dog food? Well, that solves that problem. What? Uh, we're here for the uh... wagon. I I don't say dog oh, food okay again. okay, don't okay. Say dog food again. I, I I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna come clean with you guys I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, I I look I I don't I don't I I clean up around here I sweep you know I do some hairstyling look at it it looks good it looks great I am look my name's Cosma it's nice to meet all of you that's wonderful uh I don't really deal with all that it's not my thing uh I'm not one of those kinds of guys you know what I mean uh, that's kind of like their thing I uh uh. Uh, I will. I will also be honest with you. I can respect the art of styling hair. Also, I don't think they're coming back. Oh. Uh. Bell's Wait, who's just waves? Oh, hello. Uh, who, uh, you guys are dressed fancy. Well, not you. Well, okay. You're you, Mister Birdman. You're you're quite fancy. Like that. Love those duds. Hey, that that's a nice Thank style. You. Uh. The the muddy one, I might have some some like water for you. Your boots are real pretty. Lug those. Those are badass, my guy. Uh, uh, uh. It's it's nice to meet all of you guys. Like I said, I'm uh, I I'm I'm Cosma. I I uh. Look, I'm not really cut out for this kind of life. I, I, I it's not what I do. Then mm. perhaps you could find employment elsewhere. But I'd, I'd disappoint my mother. You know, look, mama, mama dearest, mama, sweet, sweet as can be. She said, 
Oi, I'm not gonna raise no, no fucking uh, whatever that crazy stuff you're doing with people's hairs. You're gonna become like the rest of them in the village, and and you're gonna go out and you're gonna make a name for yourself, and you're you're gonna do something with your life, not I just. I have one question for you. Oh yeah, think think yeah, whatever. You can interrupt me. That's cool. Sorry, but <laughs> my question for you is: Why do you care? She's my mother. Yes, but blood, has but their mind. blood isn't your blood. Well, I I can't really make a living doing this, and I mean, she has a point. I I kind of have to do something, so I I clean up. I'm telling you though, I've got an invention. I I've got an idea. I got a way to make money one day, Bubbo. I'm not gonna do this forever. No siree, Bob. Couple of coin. I, I, patent pending. I got patent pending ideas. So how how, how do you how do you cut cut hair in the dark? It it's very dark down here. Oh, I can see. Cosma is uh, brilliant when when it comes to the dark. No, look, the best part. The best part. No electric bill. Hey. I guess he has a point. Why What's not just bill? get... Uh, oh, a bill is an invoice for collected money. Yes! Yeah. Look, I just want to make some people silky smooth. By the way, who does your hair there? Uh, the, 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 the angry looking one. He points towards you, to Johanna. You're going specific. <laughs> I, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not <laughs> sure. Like, so is a little... I mean, look at your cast. Your cast for that matter. I, I, who, you, who does your... You, there. <laughs> You it's, have it's, the slightest idea. Well, it's the, it's beautifully fire red. It's just I've never seen such luscious hair. Can I have a lock of it? No. Oh. <laughs> no, because I'm not trusting anyone with the who might be capable of magic with that. No, I don't. I want. I look. I'm looking for the perfect hair. You see these rats? You yes. see these rats? And he 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 grabs one of them and he 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 puts his his hand on top and he he pulls off the hair from the top of it and he goes I made this these rats don't have hair like me I, I but I'm looking for the perfect kind of hair you know I can I can give I, I think that's why orcs and goblins and and all those creatures they're so angry because they don't have hair to take care of I I want to I, I can make them happy I can give them hair call me angry looking when yeah. he takes the hair off the rat Bell just looks amazed and then just slow claps, but that's his normal <laughs> clap. I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's but I need wig? the perfect. Wow. It's a wig. Uh, that's my brother's name, Wig. That's a great name for it. Why, why not just make a job out of making them for everyone? That's what I want to do. No one's done that around this world. I don't. I'm not giving up most of my hair for you to. No, practice. I just look. I, I tried boar hair. Or hair doesn't work very well. It's too bristly. Now, if you, it's a mate. Well, I've got, I've got ideas. I've got ideas. You can. Br I've made this brush for your teeth out of boar hair, and it's amazing. But, we'll but it doesn't see, work very just use well. A cloth and cocaine. What's wrong with that? I don't. What's cocaine? Wait, what's? The, no, it's that, the thing that. Do you have using for their teeth? I Apparently. didn't know. Have you oh. tried using goat hair? No, but the outside world's amazing. Tell me more about the cocaine. You, you guys are weird. It's common it, knowledge. I, I'm very I just confused. Chew on a stick, like a normal person. A stick? Maybe. Maybe. Cosmo Wait, are we still talking about the hair or the cocaine? I don't know both. I I either or. Anything. I'm just, look. I, I, I've, heard, I've met some doctors. Precious. They recommend putting cocaine on a cloth and then rubbing your teeth, your gums with it. Do you happen to have any cocaine that I can try? No, it's... Do you see these teeth? They're, 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 they're a little... I, I can't... I can't... They're not as clean as I'd like. There's some people I see. They are bright white. But... Smiles. Mine isn't. His teeth are very white. What do you use? Okay. So, Cosma, I'd hate to cut you off, brandishing a Harapier right in front of him, but we are here on some sort of a mission to retrieve, uh, was it a cart? Some belongings from a, a guy wagon, that you guys stole from? A wagon, wagon a, horse, a horse, and goods. A wagon? And um, goods. Well, you know, the boys, they, they did bring in something last night that uh, I, I, I can show you around if, if, if you like. I... I, I'm not cross. I'm not crossing the bridge. I, I, that that place scares me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going over there. What's wrong with the bridge? Uh, it's, it's it's not, not the, the bridge, bridge. It's the hole. 
Is it more What's scary than in here? What, what do you mean? In, Holes don't scare me. There's nothing scary about this just, place. Just saying, you, you might want to brighten up the place if you want some more people to touch hair with. I and know. He's been sitting here touching rats. Yeah. Yeah, rats. I mm. touch rats. You know, you could you guys? I I know I know we just met, and I'm I I I'd hate to ask anything of of strangers. Could you guys seem like really good fellows? You guys seem like really good people. Um. <laughs> Pavani just puffs Hides out his behind chest your proud. Again. I um. <laughs> I, where's it? Did you see the mics? Like and some dogs. Who's Mike? The 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 they, they they're like bandits. They steal people's stuff and bring it back here because of some asshole. You, you know, I think we did see a dog run off. Oh, just the one. He immolated them. Ooh. And I point at the bird. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's that's actually you. You in did. In my defense, they were not fireproof. John is gonna walk up to Bell real quick and just like. Well, no, they're they're not fireproof. Uh, they're not like um. <laughs> you just smack. Did you just smack Bell? <laughs> you just smack yes. them. No, oh, I, I, that I'm. Hurt. That, that's fine. You, you, you can kill them. They've been assholes to me. They've been bullying me. They call me wimp, stupid. Uh, they, they treat me like my big brothers used to treat me. I, they, they don't see the artistry. They don't see the silky smooth cuts I make. Oh well, if that's the I case, uh, yes, I am the one who introduced them to the incantation of incineration. Are you, you, you cut uh, when you need a haircut, a new style. Come to your boy Cosma. I will I, I will get you so nice looking you wouldn't even know what to do with yourself. I might have to indulge you on that. Did uh, you friend, I have a question. Uh, we're friends? Besties? You and me? For me and you? Now. I, I, let's not get ahead of ourselves. No, you you, you so said you ahead. all heard it. I made a friend. He's my friend now. She's my friend. What are you? Uh, yes, woman. She is your friend. Yes. No, I I got Do you need a haircut? No, no, Look, no. I've got a brush. No, Let no, me no. get that mud. You smell kind of of straw. No, I could. Fine. You need a pamper. Get down, rat. Stop. Come, Good. come have a seat for Cosma. No, that's fine. You're not touching my hair. Now, uh, my original question was: You're, Why aren't you inside the town and maybe? Be try to join like one of the barber guilds in there, seeing as how you this is an interesting hobby of yours. The barber's guild also has significant overlap with the surgeon's guild. Uh, uh. That's so, so fun fact about this world uh, there are no hairstylists yet. Cosma here, um, given the chance, will uh, start teaching later on and he will run a school called, called Cosmetology. Uh, that's... <laughs> that's, uh, it's a pun on My names. Mike's not picking it up, but I'm sighing. I love that. <laughs> uh, a anyways, we all are sighing. I would, I'd love to I'm teach people. I, I, I'd, I'd love to teach people the art, but it's, it's more of a style than just butchering hair. Okay, Kasma, you gotta come with us. I, well, I can first, respect uh, the artistic hustle. Where are you going? Okay, I'll come with you. Where are we going, yeah, but, uh, best friend? Uh, first up. Uh, Best. First, we need to get a hold of uh, to go to that bridge because we're looking for oh, the, uh, the items. Oh, not 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 a problem. It's it's right this way. Now you guys are gonna want to watch out though. Uh, a lot of dead giants. A lot of a lot of dead giants. I'm sorry. What? Uh, dead giants. Uh, they're they're big people. They tower over. Uh, they died long long ago. But so. In my village, a long well, not even a long time. Like a, like probably about a month ago. Do you want to? Do you want to hear a story, bestie? Uh, sure. Uh, Jackass is gonna look back to the rest of the party. Come on, guys. Maybe see where this leads. So. Oh, sure. One sec. Uh, is there anything in this box over here? Uh, no. Those boxes are like uh, they're they're empty. They're broken down and rusted. This is like you can tell like this is a like a holding place like for whatever whatever loot that they they bring you. So this room 
when you when you came in it you you not only heard Cosma but as you look around you see like like temporary dog pins giant shields that are broken giant weapons that are broken and stones that look like they've been moved to one side of the wall um he's walked over to one side where there's clearly a bridge and then on the other side there's a door but uh this this room is disgusting dirty and unlike the the entrance that you came in this has smooth stone where it wasn't picked. This this was clearly laid. So those aren't tables broken on the ground, huh? Um, mm. and so, so he starts telling you, "Yeah, go ahead, Llama. I'm it, Cosma. Cosma is about to give uh, a, a a strong exposition uh, for for a little bit of what's about to happen. And follow cool. you look um, like you want to open up a door." Bell's yeah, gonna I pick up like this rat. Quietly open the door. You can open, yeah, you can open up doors. So if it has a lock on it, so if it looks like this, then you can't. If you try to, it, it actually it actually shakes. A, does it have a visual difference? Yeah, for me it no, does. I, it's, it's, oh, I can't see it. Oh really? Yeah. So Bell's anytime gonna, you see a door, you can open rat. it. If I don't want it open, you can. Uh, I'll I'll have it locked and it'll just shake. Uh, oh, wait, you know what? Sound to it. Damn it. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna put we're gonna put a pause here. Uh, would you like me to close it and lock it? There you go. Go ahead and open it back up, Folo. Uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, there's no visual difference. Okay, wonderful. Um, I believe that's so we can't just know it's locked. We're gonna pause here while Folo or while Llamas is gone, but we can we can investigate the room, and I'll go back on with the exposition after he gets back. So no one no one walk any further than the beginning of the bridge. Bell puts a rat in his pocket. Are there I'm any... trying to feed one, <laughs> so I could befriend are any... it. You guys Torches are lying about. You guys are taking the pocket the the rats. I was just trying to feed it to see if it would it would like me. Oh, it does. As soon as you put some food down, it it grabs it with its two little hands and it eats and it. Can what I, can I, I coax it into my hand? Yeah, they're friendly. You can pick them up. Yes. You can pet them. Yeah, Bell just picks up the one that was uh, that he was petting earlier and just puts it in his pocket. Okay. Uh, so uh, as you do, he looks back at you and goes, oh, th "That that's that's Mickey, isn't he? Just lovely. And the one you're feeding's Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Hi, I'll put Jerry Mickey. on my shoulder." And he just looks into his pocket and then closes the pocket. Okay. Uh, so just for just for reference, that's uh, Mickey Mouse and uh, Jerry Mouse uh, from Tom and Jerry. There you go. I got Jerry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got it. Even though they're not rats, they're mice, but... Yeah. Um, okay. Don't talk to Jerry that way. In this room, Stealthy and Johanna, for, who looked in here... Um, as you as you open up the door, the room you you can't see very well. The room looks like it had it's been like collapsed in on itself. There's rocks everywhere, rubble everywhere. And as you look through, you can see bone fragments, giant bone fragments, decayed all all through in it. Like like there was literally like there was a giant person there that got crushed at one point. That's that. What's in the you're, room? You're technically standing in someone's grave. Or you were. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I take it it wasn't good. Um, I'm gonna take a bio break, and then when I come back, I've got a little fun improv game to to get us until Mr. Lamas gets back, okay? Give me my light. Why does it hate me? <laughs> Your light? You not have light. You have I not can't... earned the right. Why don't you just here? here. Because I have to yeah, target it's... something to. to here, here's your torch. Light <laughs> you can just have a torch for now. How about that? I, so... I can cast it on myself. I would just need to cast it a bunch until I fill the roll. But no, it would. It still produces it. That roll is isn't doesn't do it like that. <laughs> but that that doesn't even do anything. I would have to. I still have to like drop the light down. I did give you yeah. permission. Oh, I didn't save. You know what I didn't do? So I gave you the permissions, <laughs> but I didn't save the permission for it. So here, you can move your light. Try to move it now. Yay! Wonderful. Yay. Hey, hey, listen. All right, you guys have the room. 
five minute bio break, all right? I get it, Follow. I all get right. it. And I'm I'm leaving I'm leaving it to all of you to not torture the people on stream. Look, listen. The promises. Watch out. <laughs> Link. Listen. Link. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, listen. Well, he wasn't that annoying, to be honest. Uh, could be. It didn't have a cooldown, as far as I can recall, but it wasn't actually no. that annoying. No, it did not have a cooldown. You could you could ignore it entirely. <laughs> you could just spam it too. Now, if you if you want to have fun with it, then you play a randomizer. You swap out the sound effects of Navi for like a, a redead, sound? a cartoon a redead. Sound? Oh. No, a redead. So every time she has an alert, redead noise. But here's the thing: whenever you see a redead. It's just a look. Listen. It's not, it, no, 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 no. A specific sound is replaced with it. Oh. oh Doesn't my. switch the sounds. Just replaces it. I mean, you can completely randomize them. Who wants Ganon organ? Is it me, or does Tom and Jerry look like squirrels? Uh, I think they, they do are look squirrels. like squirrel. That or that's I mean, just the hair. I mean, I realize it's Ed. the hair, but the hair looks the way it's shaped. It just looks like this tail. Actually, yeah, only tail. after I zoom in far enough do I notice it's not literally just a squirrel. <laughs> it's literally just a mouse. It's, yeah. it's some glam with, hair, is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> with yeah. with a PNG of hair stuck to it. <laughs> Squeak. Funny. Tal's over in the, you know, she's been actively staying in the shadows, so to speak, because she's, she's waiting for the other shoe to drop that, you know, that he's not so friendly. Or, I don't think mm, that she's mm. going to drop. I'm just saying, she's just waiting. She knows it's going to happen. Any yeah. minute now. Yep. You're just like, any minute now, he's going to try and kill them. Yep. And I'll swoop in and save the day. Yep. Just, <laughs> just, a, just, just somebody has to. Just waiting. Hey, who do you think broke all these axes in the same spot? Great question. A giant? Think maybe a giant same, broke all those axes? Maybe the same yeah. giant that is that got crushed in that small room. Yeah, but they're normal Thanks. size axes. Perhaps they were I mean, just they were here just and they got old and broke when somebody the, stepped on them. Yeah. But the weird part is there are no giant weapons. There's only giant shields. Maybe they were afraid of weapons? Maybe the axes were their toothpicks. Ooh, that's good. That's a good point. That's actually a really good point. Yeah. They're letter openers. Yeah. Giant letter openers. Because they use giant paper, of course. Could be. <laughs> Wait, could a giant even have come in through the, this way? Um, probably not. It looks like that was carved in, and then the tunnel was dug into this structure. Hmm. I think. I can see. There's a bridge. You're not supposed to go to the bridge. No. <laughs> We're rebels without a cause. I actually didn't know where the goblin was. So I was no, just no, no, no. I... Get back, yeah. Bell rushing Get back, yeah. Never there. mind. There's a door. <laughs> Well, you're supposed to be asleep. <laughs> so this is why you get hit. Hey, rude. It's true. <laughs> this is this is child abuse. How old are you? You're not allowed to be a child. Eighteen. You would not. Did you go with minimum age? Nice. If Bell was any older than eighteen, I don't think he would be functioning. Uh he's not functioning. Right? Yes, he is, kinda. He There's no difference between here. him acting this way at 18 and him acting this way at 30. He could be having a midlife crisis and we couldn't tell the difference. That's a fair point. Who's having a midlife crisis? Bell. Bell. Huh. That seems about right. <laughs> so wait, 18 times 2 is 36, so his maximum life expectancy is just mm. under 40? Who? Sure, why not? Who's maximum Bell. life? We don't know how old he is. True. Tiefling's age weird. We are diametrically opposed. 
Why are you like a? Oh yeah, you, we are. <laughs> Actually, I want color now. Oh, I was just gonna hey, can you shift the, the color? Of my uh, double oh. left click on it, follow. Or sorry, double right click on it. Can you change the color of it? I think I no, can. No, no rave parties. Uh -huh. I got what? The room? Oh, chef's back. We definitely were not plotting your downfall. Nope, nope. We were Who, not. Who's, who's downfall? My downfall? Yeah. Nope, nope. Oh. Oh, shit. Different color. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's it's so much brighter to look at. Who cast that? I, I just wanted to check out this room. I know, yeah. but where'd that light come from? Oh, I think what's his name changed his color, and then oh. I turned my torch on so I could actually see. Yeah, I I, I had it at red because could, this so is this is this is yeah. I gave you guys trusted player permissions. I now I know. That. Now, why did you do that? Uh, oh, so wow. you guys could yeah, do you. uh things. I didn't. Yeah, that's. Ooh, I'm that's changing better. my vision. I didn't realize it was so my monochrome vision was color to pink. pink. Yeah, I, I didn't change anything. Uh, monocard, so dark vision is black and white, and if you change it, you'll stop getting trusted player permissions. Oh, I wanted to change it to pink, so I could. I wanted to see what pink looked like, and uh, don't think it looks any different. Uh, with a with a twenty investigation, still black. <laughs> with a twenty investigation in this, yeah, it doesn't do anything. With a twenty investigation in this room, um, you there's there's nothing there's nothing here that uh, wasn't seen before, except for. Um, there's uh, some bits of broken metal, like uh, like a ring that was shattered upon uh, that giant's hand. So you're saying shiny object? Yeah, Can shiny object. It? Sure, you could. You I'm gonna put it. it in my pocket. Okay. Thank there's you. a lot more shiny objects in the room. In this room? No, the oh, other yeah. room. Oh well, if I was you're just, just looking for ring. metal bits. There's metal bits everywhere. I just took the bits of his ring. I f I figured if anyone was gonna do that, it was gonna be Pavani since he's a bird. Birds tend to He's do a, that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nothing in that. Okay, good, good. Wonderful. Um, there was a fun little uh thing that I wanted to do while llamas was gone, and it was mm -hmm. it was basically, and by basically I mean exactly like um, literally. I wanted to know what your guys. So, like, let's say your guys's characters were in our we're in our world, right? There's t-shirts, but like funny t-shirts. Like if they went to Spencer's, what, what stupid t-shirt would they have? What would Dick they Ball's buy? Up. Dick Falls. That was, that was a little quick. It was a little. I'm referencing something. <laughs> All right. So, so Johanna would be, would be sport, would be sporting a Dick Falls off shirt. Black, white, what color? Hello. Uh, probably black. Black. Anything on the back of it, or is the dick falls off? Like, is it written in white on the back? I don't know. Actually, you know what? That would work. Just written in white on the back, across the shoulders. <laughs> this dick falls off. <laughs> Just... on, on the front is a picture of Nixon. <laughs> 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 Jesus. Okay. I like it. I like it. What about you, Aeolus? What would your cost to be wearing? What what crazy shirt would they come up with? And it doesn't have to be and, and I'm I'm using Spencer's as like 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 a a satirical what if. Yeah. Not not a, like it could be any kind of crazy ass shirt. Gotcha. Have you seen those luggages where they like uh, for the texture? They end up putting the entirety of your face on it. That way you can find it oh uh, in the airport. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a giant uh, long sleeve shirt with a uh, real zoomed in uh, picture of her face and a front hand. A back end it'll be yes. just a picture of her pointing down. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever seen Critical Role, one of the uh, the players just would eventually start printing out shirts of the DM Matt Mercer's face on them. Yeah. 
and then he would just take off his jacket and wait for everyone to notice that it's just a it's just his face. Jesus Christ. I I, I know what Pavonis would be. What would it Pavonis be? It would just be a, a shirt with a picture of his face on it. <laughs> Him and Joe Cocker. That's right. But also, honestly, it would probably be like one of those uh do you remember that uh jacket from Back to the Future too? Where it was all like one? um Oh, oh the yeah, vest? It was all like it was all like neon colors or something. Yeah. Or no, it was the hat that was all neon colors. Yeah, the the, the vest was always the same puffy jacket. It was that red, yeah. yeah. Um but 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 Z's definitely would be a tie dye like 90s style you know that that traditional psychedelic thing mm -hmm. and it would be like i ate that it didn't end well <laughs> uh, bell would be wearing probably like a triple xl sweatshirt that uh absolutely like goes down to his knees and uh it's, ju it's literally just because of a snuggie kind of sleeping. yeah he'd also a or snuggie. a snuggie or just a snuggie uh, Cosmo would be wearing one that just says I make you look good. With two rats on it. With two rats on it with cool ass hairstyles. <laughs> <laughs> what about Tall? What's Tall wearing? Tall's um, probably wearing something that says uh, now you see me. Now you don't. Oh, does it have um, Mark Zuckerberg's face on it? <laughs> it's just merchandise from now you see me. It's just the merchandise from now you see me. So thinking, you know, honestly, bringing that up, I feel like there was a missed opportunity with the sequel to that movie. They had the perfect name. I think I've heard this before. they didn't call it. The movie, the first now you one don't. is Now You See Me. The second movie is Now You See Me 2. It should, yeah. It was, it was a missed Why opportunity. Why wouldn't it be Now You Don't? I don't know. Exactly. They, 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 they fucking flubbed it on the Now You Don't. They did. I mean, that whole movie series is just like, let's take actually really cool sleight of hand tricks and let's just make it magic. <laughs> like yeah. actual impossible magic. I mean that I feel like that's how it would be like if if there was actual wizards and stuff within our world, yeah. Yeah, but like the th whole thing is that they're doing sleight of hand tricks, but they're not. Yeah. That guy, he threw a card which like somehow did like a 360 in the air, swooped between people's armpits and l between their legs and somehow came back to him. I I don't I feel, think I, that I, that's physically possible. I think it is. You know, if you're good enough with it, you know. You maybe. know. <laughs> Maybe. You can say if you're good enough, but I feel like no amount of skill would let you do a card trick that's basically just telepathically moving a card. You should, you should, you, you know what? Practice and you let me know. You, you go find out. Spend the we time. We expect magic tricks next game session. <laughs> we expect. I got a magic trick for you. I can make this pencil disappear. Character no, a rogue no. <laughs> that that has so much sleight of one. hand that they that they pretend to be a wizard and people believe them. Dude, that would be amazing. I'm so gonna make. I'd be down now. with it's that. It's in my notes. Hold on, let me find my pen. Like they they could wear like the, I'd I'd even I'd even let them come into the campaign huh? with. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I would let them come, Sorry, and Adam. then Sorry. I would Hi. then I then I would let them join the campaign with uh with a with a bellowing cloak cloak they'd be like look chef i kind of i'd be like all right we're done you, you can have it you can have it Bonus action. they have a wizard hat and a billowing cloak hell yes <laughs> hell oh my yes. god you should give them a wand of fireballs that they can't use <laughs> i am going i have a one shot coming up can i do that uh yeah sure i don't that's fine fuck yeah that's great. Still on that idea. I love it. Do you, do you, like as a DM, I'd be just like, okay, you you get it. What are, what are you doing? You get advantage on it. I love this. I love this so much. Look, I have to come up with a character. I I don't mind getting dead. I'm excited for this Saturday's. I've actually got to make a Discord room for you guys for this Saturday's one shot that's coming up. Mm. I'm excited to run that one. Ooh, if uh, Meep, whenever you uh do sneak attack. You should uh, say that you burn magnesium, and then you should say that you cast Firebolt. <laughs> I am. 
<laughs> I'm gonna say it loudly too. Just, Pass just, fireball. It just says, wait, like, why do you why do you get sneak attack? Don't worry about it. <laughs> we don't talk about it. Why do, why are you rolling deception with advantage? Because it's good. <laughs> uh glibness. Oh. Jesus. I'm glad that you guys didn't kill Cosma. I half thought that you guys were just going to outright snipe his ass. I was ass. waiting for oh, it. The, day, the day's not over. Tal's still talking. hiding in the corner. She, yeah, how, tell, how, tell how deep is that, uh, that hole over the uh, bridge? Just out of curiosity. Um, I said that we weren't going to discuss anything further until Llamas came uh, back. Can I check out oh, yeah, this room? Right. Like an investigation? Yeah, on the room itself. I mean, sure, go ahead. We'll see. We'll see what random things I have just there that I didn't have planned to be there. I know. That's yeah, if I was... roll, okay. Nope. Were those mites <laughs> sleeping on top of cages? No. This is I like the holding. I noticed there's a floor, and it's a very dirty floor, and she does a horrible job at cleaning. And all I want to do is pick up a broom. Look, you, 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 what, what you find around are like little bundles of, of, of hair that he's Gross. collected. Gross. He's, wow. he's trying to collect. He's, he's already told oh you he God. wants to make a wig. He needs this he, room. He needs product. Is there a broom in here? Oh, no. They didn't give this him a broom. This entire room is like a barber shop's floor yeah. if nobody ever swept. Yes. And yet, Ew. and yet, Cosmos was like, "It's clean. She cleans. That's all she does." I don't believe it. Co Cosma, it's mainly what Cosma does is take care of the. That is just is not get in people's way. He gets bullied. He told you that he gets bullied. Poor Cosma. He's a sweet boy. Um. Bully. Somebody should find a broom. There's... So, chef, uh, are one of the are these down and... are these beds on the bottom here on top of these cages? No, that's that's inside. inside. There's not a lid to them. Bell's probably asleep already. We could probably use him. Those are so that's that's uh. There's like there's like like dog crates, that's dog kennels, and then there's like blankets that that are down. That's where they were keeping stuff, but they're no longer <laughs> keeping things. Then there's a pillow in one that someone was definitely sleeping in. That was Cosma. Yeah. That's Cosma's. I, I bet Pepperoni has some wings and feathers that you can use. Maybe the tail feathers. It's a dust. Do you mean Pavonius? It, it, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Pepperoni, Pavonius, Pe Paprika. I bet Paprika's <laughs> got some stuff that you can use. Overon. Some some feathers. Oh my yeah, god! Could you imagine him come back and it's like, by the way, they took some of your tail feathers while you were gone. <laughs> they took some of your tail feathers and started dusting. Who's the sneakiest one that could get some of Pepperoni's? Tall. You'd have to okay, talk tall to do it. Do you want sleight of hand or do you want stealth? Well, sleight of hand would would be the easiest way to to yank. We've them made off. a broom with his own tail feathers. I've got a plus five to sleight of hand. I mean, you go ahead. I have only a <laughs> plus five to stealth. I think it would be just hilarious for him to come back and... I'm going to keep this broom, too. You've slide of handed some, some feathers off of him. You know, they, they fall in. You know, right. they, they they shed. They were loose. Exactly. All right. I'm going to try it. All right. All right. Uh, slide of hand, do you say? Yep. <laughs> oh shit! So oh, my God. Okay, you 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 get oh, you get God. you get two of his feathers. Wait. All right. At this point, I don't care if uh if if the goblin sees me. So the goblin. Oh. Uh, He's not a yeah, goblin. I've been, I've been hiding from him because you know I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Well, he's been hanging so... out with his new best friend. All right. Oh no. Um. So I, I whisper loudly. To, to Z, and I'm like, here, here's your broom feathers. Awesome. And uh, and I and I hand the two feathers over to Z. All right, I'm gonna. Can I can I grab one of these like old weapons? Oh yeah, sticks? that's fine. Oh yeah. yeah, I'm gonna try to you, make a guy for me you, a broom. You can like uh, like a like like a broom or one of those things that would uh, what are they like? They clean the cobwebs out of the like, yeah. the, the edges. Do, do you want me to roll something for this? No. 
That's fine. Oni's right. The, 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 look, it's one guy. He doesn't have a lot. The room's kind of dirty, you know? He's he's just pushed trash from one end of the room to the other. Also, we well, there's a big cliff over there, right? Hmm? Yeah, there's a cliff. What do you want me to roll to make this makeshift room? Uh, just roll me a... Shit, give me a second. Look, I don't even know. I know. Uh, you know what? <laughs> uh, let's just do a nature. It's fine. I'm okay with nature for makeshift. Nice. That's fine. That you cool. you make a, you you look. You get some cloth. You get a stick. You get his feathers, and you make a broom out of it. All right. I'm just gonna start in one corner and head towards the cliff with my dirt pile. All right. That's fine. Oh, Chef, I realized uh, you should probably give us all control over the light because you cast it on an object. Doesn't mean that only the player who casts it can move it. Well, if you're going to want to move it, his light, then you're going to have to tell him. Oh, okay. I just lit my torch. That also works. Wait, there's skill checks? What has skill checks? <laughs> the, the, the light catcher. Yeah. <laughs> Just gonna hum to myself while I sweep. <laughs> Bell humming made his will be required by... Nice. Chef will uh, give the humming. I do not hum. Uh, humming for what? Uh, do a performance. How good is the humming? Oh, I'm sorry. I was I was answering a text back. My sister went to the hospital today. Oh my god. She had emergency okay. surgery, so. Hey. Um, it, is, it is garbage humming. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> or just mediocre. Are you telling me the humming's more like more like, <laughs> like it keeps No, my breaking. mouth is closed. It's just off. It's just off. <laughs> you cut out at the perfect time. Mm -hmm. I I I appreciate all the cleaning and everything. Um, but um, let me do all the humming around here. Let me do my job. Let let me let me show you how it's done. No, nope, missing. Nope. Stay over there with your shears. I, I don't. It's the it's it's not it's not beautiful. You know, it's not bad, but it's not great. He just oh, but it is definitely better. <laughs> 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 la dee da, la dee dee, cut I'm my definitely. hair into thee. I'm definitely not humming anymore. <laughs> cut your hair into pieces. Cut my <laughs> hair oh my into God. pieces. This is my life's resolve. Hey, bestie. So, uh, what you uh, doing tonight? Well, you know, when when you get out of here, what are you doing when you get out of here? Uh, I don't know. Probably head back to the marketplace, see if I can, uh, yeah, like meet some folks, get myself situated in town. Oh, have, have you had dinner yet? Uh, is, is Bell awake? Mm, no, no, he's asleep. So. I'm gonna sweep over <laughs> Bell. Do you, do you want he's to? in a cage? He's found his way into a cage because there's a blanket in there, and he just like put his pillow oh, no. down. I, just I still swept in the cage. Well, yeah, I just swept it's... over you, though. That's fine. Can I lock the cage? No, there's not a top <laughs> on it. Damn. Bestie, will you do me a favor? Maybe. When you guys are out adventuring, will you mm -hmm. bring me back some hair from everything you uh find? Well, uh, maybe. No, we have a chance. I'm gonna need some shears though. Maybe some sort of sack to put it in. I am not carrying it on my person. I've got a sack you can have. I'm gonna head over. I want to inside check that. <laughs> Go ahead. Wait, hold on, what? Go ahead inside it. I'm I'm sweeping the floor and I happen to run over your feet with my very colorful broom. Wait, you can't have mage hand. Uh, he was he was talking uh about a very, very naughty sack. <laughs> Stop, mm. you're gonna make me I I was just joking. Don't give me that for you're kinda cute when you're mad though. <laughs> Uh, uh, I anyways, you, you're not my type. Mm, you're not my type either. Is it because I'm taller than you? It's because you collect hair. What? I'm trying to make the world a better place, bestie. 
Mm. What well, do you collect? Food? Hey. I, well, like to eat it, it serves a purpose. Other than you don't eat well. hair? What are you talking about? Hair serves a wonderful purpose. You don't, you have lived with hair your entire life. You don't know what it's like to be without hair, and you would respect what I do even more if you didn't have any. Okay, maybe. But still, like, you can't just, you can't leave it lying around and have it be a mess like this. I mean, for goodness sakes, look, you even encouraged my party members to try and tidy up a little bit. You gotta, well, like, put it in a corner somewhere. You know, I never thought about that. Oh, my gosh. I, 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 I was um, gonna say, what? Did, 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 did Zelfie just sweep all the hair off the cliff? Hey, I'm heading that way. I swear no, I'm off. No! No! <laughs> I list. haven't gotten there yet. I've only gotten to Bavonia. Okay. I started sweeping his feet. Um, he took my broom. First off, llamas, welcome back. I need you to make me a perception Llamas. check. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, with with that wonderful seven, you know what? Everything looks like it's a okay. I'm gonna hand my broom off to 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 Pavoni. Okay. It's a broom I just, like just I'm I'm going that way with the hair. Okay. I'll point towards the cliff. Now that everyone's back, I can go over a little bit of exposition from Cosma's uh, thing. So give me a second. Okay, bestie, listen up. I got something to tell you. Okay. If you're planning uh, on Joker's going, gonna lean down to his height uh, to be at an eye level. He he straightens up his back so you don't have to lean down so far. Okay. If you guys are planning on going up there, and I don't think you should, mm -hmm. you should be aware of the guy that hired us. He's bad news. He calls, well, okay, okay, he's he's not here, but his little underling is. He calls himself the Edge Lord. Okay. The Dark Edge Lord. It's pretty fucking Dark, metal. Like because he hides in shadows or No, I think uh, he's just I think he's kind of a weeb. Uh that's uh, that's a term from my village for uh someone that's kind of just like not all there, you know what I mean? Anyways, he he's 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 in charge around here, right? He got all the he got me and the mics and from our village. But look, there was this bad, well, this bad dude, like a sorcerer. He had magic and he came through town, right? Wearing these robes and was like, I will pay anyone that would come with me. And basically we stormed a mountain. We 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 captured a dragon and uh we were told to 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 watch over him. And they kind of they kind of have a dragon. Um We've never seen one before. It's a little blue dude. Uh, he's, but he, they have him bound by magic, and uh, the room where they keep like all the good stuff is is in that is in is in the room with the edge guy, and then they got like an ogre chained up in there. I don't know what the ogre's about. He's not like on our team. I, I they they just kind of like carried him around a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, ha, ha that's 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 mites for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So how big is this blue quote unquote dragon? Uh small as like probably probably about my size. Your size, huh? Mm-hmm. We we went there to get some eggs. He had eggs. Mm hmm So we have a dragon, we have an ogre, and we have an edge lord. Uh what kind of weapons were they carrying? Oh, ooh, he had this sword that it, if you gave him a really dirty look, it would go. <laughs> Like a spring. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Are you are you, uh, are you writing anywhere? this down? I am. Oh, that's I I don't know how to write. What does it say? Show me. Uh, uh Jokes is gonna like lean over to his side and like show him the oh. sheet of paper with some. You weren't even writing, you've been making doodles. I'm over here telling you what to do and you're you're just making doodles? Those are no, pretty doodles, no, 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 though. No. I like those. I, no. Is that me? Did you make me? No. You're so oh sweet. I have a good chin. Pay attention to the margins. <laughs> pay attention to the notes. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. Uh, okay. Um, those are good notes. I like those. A little squiggly, but I like the 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 dots that you put there. Yeah, thank you. Is that an eye? Do you put little hearts over your eyes? That's that's adorable. Mm -mm -mm. Uh -huh. Okay. So yeah, most of the writing would have been in cursive. In cursive? You're fancy. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So look, this bridge here, if, if what you guys say is true, the only thing you should have to deal with is, well, okay. There, there is one other person. He shouldn't be a problem. You guys look like you're strong. You're big. There's, there's fucking six of you, right? Uh, he calls himself the dark king. He, he, he's, he's numbered. Two, yes. He's so he's the dark king. And then you have the edgy dark king and they're just, they're, they're insufferable. They're honestly insufferable, but, uh, you get over this bridge. I don't like it. It's a little rickety. Uh, I, I don't know where it goes. It's like a chasm, but we, we, they, their ingenuity is not that great. They made this bridge. Look at it. It's, they did a shit job. They did a shit job. I'm not stepping foot on the thing. I don't trust it. But I mean, if that's where you, if you guys got to get your stuff, you know, go, go get your stuff. They usually just took the, the dogs and they would like, they would just use the dogs to like blink over. But you know, you guys do you. So you're saying it probably won't hold too many people on it at the same time? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I'm terrified of heights. I'm not going over it. That's, that's fine. Oh, uh, before I forget, do you have another torch sitting out here? I mean, I know you personally don't use them, but what about the rest of your buddies? Or the Edge Lord? Or the other Lord? No, they, they, oh, they have light okay. in their room. The floor yeah. glows. It's kind of cool. Well, that's convenient. Yeah. I, so, uh, as you guys walk over to this bridge and you look across, it is indeed rickety. It's like a rope bridge and there's just like nails. It doesn't even look like, like, like there's ropes going across and it's like, like they just put wood in the middle of it. Like it's not connected to the ropes that sit itself. Very poorly made. But as you look down, you see a giant crack, uh, like across a chasm and, um, on the other side, like, like the chasm is, is easily like, like, what is this? Like a hundred foot wide. It's a hundred foot wide chasm top to bottom. But like from where you guys are onto the other side is about 45 feet. Um, but as, as you can see where basically the earth cracked in and on the other side there, you can see like the floor and everything like, like this swallowed an entire room is basically what it looks like okay so i got oh sorry i was muted how deep is the chasm as you look down you don't know you cannot see uh, the mind, bottom mind if i i please Bonnie just points to the pile of wood be my guest kavani grabs oh. a piece of wood Thank casts you. light on it and throws it into the chasm Oh, are we going now? Be my guest. Be my guest. I'm glad you woke when you did. Uh, so one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, <laughs> four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, and the light disappears. I had a hmm. dream about a dark lord or something. Diana takes a drink from coffee. <gasps> okay. Anyways, Pavani takes flight. Pavani, uh, what's wait. that beautiful smell? Oh, bye, Polverone. Tal holds up uh, one end of her. The how rope tall is the back. cave? Uh, the cave, like like up above you. Uh, it's probably about twenty foot up to the ceiling. Okay, ten foot flight flies across chasm. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, before I continue with uh, Cosmo, Cosmo looks over and goes. So, what are you? Who are you guys? Health inspectors. Before, before Pavoni takes flight, Tal holds up one end of her rope and says, Here! To, you know, indicate, take the rope and maybe tie it to the other end. Oh, yeah, take the rope. The rope, the rope, nice and strong. I like that. Is that hempen? It is. I'm, I'm, oh, this rope is only made out of hay. I'm so going to make sure I'm at least one head length away from her. Oh. So why I would I do realized. that when there's already an existing rope? Can't you use that? We've I just already been told that the bridge is not reliable. So just in case, you can take the rope, tie it to the other end, something on the other end, and we can use that to help ourselves along in case the bridge doesn't hold our weight. I think I, I left my rope tied to the tree. Enough. 
It's okay. I have them. Pavani just looks across the chasm, looks back, looks across the chasm. Ah, oh, fine. Give me the damn rope. Um, um but Thank before you. before you before you leave, um, a well dressed bird guy. Uh, can I ask a favor? Maybe. Can I have a feather? You're gonna have to be more specific. Uh, can I one one of your uh beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, bright and colorful feathers? Vani just kind of digs through it, his head and just <laughs> gives him an indigo feather. <gasps> it's amazing. This is the most beautiful shade of blue I've ever seen. Thank you. That was just one that was loose. Oh, weird. It's the same color as that broom. He's strange. Oh, yeah. He looks back at Joe Costa. See? He gave me one of his feathers. Why are you such a prude? Uh, a feather is we... not a piece of hair. I thought we were besties. Well, I never said that. I just said friend. Did you <gasps> ever check to tie rope? No, you just tie it. All right. Pavani ties rope off. All right. Uh, you want to give me a roll? What kind of knot? Uh, I want to see what kind of knot. Llamas? Sorry, a hitch knot. Oh. Are you looking up types of knots? No, I'm <laughs> toggling mute like a dumbass. Oh. <laughs> who, 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 who's tying it over on the uh, the far end? I mean, the close end. Yep. Um, I guess I'll do it because it was my rope. You want me to hold it? You uh... said you wanted me to roll, Chef? Nah, it's fine. I, I, I think I'd I'd rather try and tie the other end to like one of the cages here that looks kind of sturdy. What are you saying? Uh, You're saying Cosmo's not strong? Look at these arms! Oh! <gasps> I'm not that strong, never mind. I joke. <laughs> it's a kid. I kid. Don't worry about me, guys. You're very strong. Oh. You, I like you. <laughs> you just hear Pavani yell back from across the chasm. Question. Answer. You <laughs> seem to have half a skull in your wall. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Things died down here. Okay, just making sure. Don't eat them! It's bad luck from what I hear! So, is the the bridge just not stable? Oh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, look, I'm scared of heights. I'm not going. You haven't walked across it. Did anybody look at the bridge? I'm gonna, Belle's gonna look at the bridge. How does the bridge look? It looks like a bridge. Does it look back? Yeah, does it look? Yeah, does it? Does it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, two yeah, nails two in the boards, like like move, and they look at you, and then they go back into the wood. It's a movie killer. <laughs> all, 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 all a Star Wars: A New Hope, where that little eyeball comes out of the sludge, just like that. That's what happens. But yeah, does the bridge look stable? Slaps bridge. This baby can't hold any weight. <laughs> Collapses immediately. Oh, uh, can I have a give me a give me investigation upon the bridge? Ooh, investigation or what about insight? I want to tell the the bridge's feelings. Uh, yeah, you know what? Give me an insight, <laughs> and I like that. Give me an insight, and I will tell you how the the bridge is feeling. With a seven, you can really tell that he's the bridge has been like kind of down on its luck here recently. Um, it's not feeling the prettiest. Uh, that it could, and it's not like the bet. Like its truth isn't what's being projected. Uh, Bell's no. gonna pat the like he's gonna bend down. Uh, he's gonna pat the bridge. Pavani slaps the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> the bridge winks at Pavani. <laughs> um, yeet. Crude but effective. I mean, can. can Grab and go. Let's let's go. Come on. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Uh, Joe Cass is gonna go ahead and like she's gonna try and grab a hold of like the very edge of the rope and like stay outside of the middle of the bridge to try and inch her way across. Oh, uh, stay safe. Uh, stay safe, Chocasta, my new bestie. 
And well, still waiting on the shears and the sack. I, I, I got, yo, you want shears too? Well, yeah. Like my lucky golden shears or can I just give you like some like rusted ones I got? As long as I cut hair. Can, do you not have like a, okay. I, you know what? Anything for you, bestie. As soon as Jocasta clears the other side, I'm going to grab a hold and run away from the lady with the hair clippers. Cosmo's a guy. Okay. Well, I can't tell. I hey, I never ask sexual orientation, so or I, what they identify as. That's right. You haven't talked to Cosma at all. Look, I'm afraid for my hair. But it's pretty and white. I just get just like steadily run, not run, but quickly. Hey, you, be careful over there! Uh, Please course. watch out. Uh, bye. Bye. Oh God. Bell should go next. Someone yes. make Bell go first. Bell, get going. Right, oh, Bell. are we going? Yes. You Bell. Have your turn. Okay. Don't want he's to fall asleep on the he's bridge. Not, he's not even touching the rope. <laughs> is, he, is he safe? I'm surprised you didn't fall asleep. Is that nice? No, he was asleepwalking. He was just sleepwalking <laughs> across the bridge. It's his, it's his forte to sleepwalk. <laughs> he gets more perceptive when he's asleep. All right, Joanna, you're next. Why not you? I I gotta make sure that I get the other end of my rope. I don't. I best of luck. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Why has time stopped? <laughs> because. So at this very moment, as you look down, you see a bright light coming from the bottom of this chasm. <sighs> Oh, shit. Uh, uh, I somehow feel responsible. It's a light <laughs> that Johanna knows well. It's the light of a phoenix coming from the ashes of this hole to kill Johanna. This is God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, go. <laughs> kill him, kill this man. <laughs> Troll maximum. Wait, Johanna, did you say you collected your rope before you cross? Uh, no, 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 it's it's Tal's yeah. row. Bro. J Johanna was, uh, was taking her own yeah. rope and a uh, grappling hook just to uh, have it ready when needed. Bell, yeah. did you open the door? So He just turns uh, and he nods. Bait hand. <sighs> okay, Tal's bye! Stop, 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 stop. Um, sure we're still missing bridge. one. Bell. Pavani just puts stop. a hand on Bell's shoulder. What did I tell you about sleepwalking randomly into objects? Uh, <laughs> did you say anything about that? No. Pavani just, because he's got a beak and can't make facial expressions, just kind of narrows his eyes. Well, I said, did you get your rope tall? I did, thank you. And she unties it from this end. At the cave entrance, I told you about walking randomly into objects. That's you went into the cave. Oh, I mean, sorry, Pavlov. I won't do that again. Of, Pavlov, my name is Pavani. <laughs> oh, it is. He just looks Rosie, cross. Yes, Papa Coney. You know, it would be so easy just to let you walk into danger. I mean, he's walked us into good things so far. Don't be so hard on him. Pavani lets go of Bella's shoulder. Should and we just motions continue? lead the way. Okay. Uh, Hold on. Because Bell's moving very slowly. Uh, Hold on. Oh. Couple things. Uh, first off. Ooh. Joe Costa. Aeolus. Nah. You want you? Yeah. Uh huh. Even if I have to read it, you're all taking it. Huh? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. You can all take a four damage for, I uh, uh, guess walking uh, across wasn't hard at all. At all. 
Just because you don't say it and you write it, it's the same thing. If I didn't have this chat, <laughs> damage towards the DM though. That's that's that. That's, that's DM damage. We didn't we didn't read it. We didn't know until you pointed Fuck it out. You. I think you're the one that takes the. If I have yeah, to take the, take the damage, you're taking think, the damage. I think no. I think you have to give us health back. You don't. Oh, you're not missing anything. You've yeah, murdered things and you haven't taken any I damage. I am missing health. Like I got thrown into a wall. Well, you they did. Didn't they murder stuff. My I murdered stuff. <laughs> Yo, four about kills all of you, though. Shut your face. Dad joke damage does not exist unless it's towards you. It does that's now. True. From this point I forward. I thought we only took psychic damage point for point. Joe jokes. Oh, that's, that's true. true. <laughs> the problem is that I, I'm going to have to watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure now, so I, I, can, I notice when they're okay, there. I'll let you know. I'll let you know when everybody I, else makes one. Pog. You can continue. Okay, so. As you walk through, like, basically, you guys get over that bridge, no problem at all. They've actually done a pretty good job making that bridge. Uh, Cosmo is just scared as hell. Um, as you guys cross, there is a door there, and the walls here are back to the way that the walls were when you first entered this entire dungeon. But these ones are narrow. The, the door looks like they that they have put it up, um, almost like it's a safety net, more or less, going from like the room that you were that you were in. Because on the other side of uh, of that door, of the hinges, if you will, is is like this muddened wall where they just kind of like stuck it. As you walk through, you can tell that boulders are bulging out places. And it seems like that's where they stopped digging because they started digging this hole down this hallway. And that's where well, that's what you're in is this very narrow hallway. However, you can see skulls and bones and rocks and everything coming out of the hallway. As you're as you're walking through. By the way, if I'm doing this as a podcast and you guys text everything and you guys don't ever say anything, I have to then go back and read it. So just letting you guys know. We didn't. It's fine. We're just trying not to interrupt you. That's fine. Yeah. I was just letting you know that if it if it if it continues, I'll have to turn off chat entirely. Wait, and only roll. We get around to me. Uh, is there uh, anything ahead? Uh, oh, that I can see. Uh, in front of you, you see bones on the floor and rags on the ground. Uh, uh anything... point to the skull on the wall. Crap wise. If you want to roll me something or like well, yeah, I, yeah, I, you I'm know what? Asking... You... I don't you, get no, to decide you know what? what I roll, you... Shep. I don't You know what? <laughs> You're right. You see no traps. You're good to go. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, oh no. <laughs> Right. See, if you're trying to move past me, Pavani is yes. just not moving at you, all. I, it, I'm going to tap you on the shoulder and be like, hey. As, as you come you, into this next room, you, know. you see a pail of water down towards the south and a horse that looks like he's been, uh, basically his stomach has been eaten out. Her Gross. stomach. You may be what? bigger than it's me. stomach. But I still think you have to move. I have four oh, people yeah. behind me. Yeah, Dad and front horse. We'll, we'll move. Pavani still is just standing still. <laughs> I'm I going to take my broom out buddy. and point the end in his face. Move, please. I do not like to be this close to one another. Uh, and why are you standing so close? Just stop because down. we have to go in one direction. P P Pepperoni, oh, move oh, your butt! Put sunglasses on. I'm quite comfortable right here. Go. But, but, uh, 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 you know, Pavoni, if we stay out here, there might be a chance that the cave might cave in right behind us. Oh, you know what? Let me roll for that. End. Mm. <laughs> oh, I feel in the safe spot right now. So I rolled a or nat one to... for that. Did you that? roll a nat one for what? <laughs> For a cave Oh god, you did not! No. He did. He, it was a good suggestion. Uh, I, it was just a bluff for Pavoni to get moving. No, if it was a nat 20, there would be an instant cave -in. You're good. Okay. okay. Uh, well, good. Do I need to make an athletics check if I'm just running beelining past Bell? No, it's, uh, a, it's, it's five foot straight, but if you're like, you can occupy his space. And no, I mean like running look, like a madman at the yeah. mention of cave Is Pavoni a, a normal size humanoid? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna run like underneath his leg. Feet. 
I'm gonna run underneath his legs. Oh, are you small? Well, at the mention of cave in, Pavani just starts barreling and <laughs> runs through Bell. You trip over me. It's Mel's, 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 Mel's astral hand is trying to wave to everybody. Uh, <laughs> he just run right past it. Do I knock over Bell? Uh, if you want to, that's a whole other issue. That's a dice question. That's a dice uh, question. I mean, you could roll a shove attack. No, 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 no. Just, just do uh, give me an Probably. athletics and let's see if if you can if if you're quick on your feet as you as you try to spin <laughs> past him. You are oh, you want quick me to on roll your an feet. Athletics? No, he rolled. He rolled it. It was a twenty. He... I was rolling to go through Bell, not oh, around him. Oh, <laughs> uh, then th yeah. Give actually give me a dexterity save. Oh, dex save. Okay. Yeah, since he's going to barrel through you. They'll, saves give you a little extra oomph. Unfortunate. Uh, so yeah, he knocks you prone as as the mere so the mere mention of a cave-in in that very narrow hallway has sent him just in a frenzy down the hall. And as he sees you, he doesn't even he doesn't even recognize in his brain that you're even there, and he just barrels through you, and you're just, oh. just not quick enough to get out of the way. I just keep going. Why is everyone hitting me? I'm gonna lean down and check on Bell. Do I take damage from <laughs> Oof. getting knocked over? I fucked up. All right. <laughs> so as you go barreling down the hallway, you run past a horse that it, that has its blood and guts and all on the floor. You see a uh, a, a, a door d down below. Basically. The room that you knocked Bell down in was a kennel, is essentially what that area is. You go down s south, you see another door, and you bust through it. And as soon as you do, you startle a guy that is sitting there waiting on his companions to come back. And he looks up as soon as you open up the door, thinking that his friends have finally come back home. And they haven't. And now you and him are staring at each other in the eyes. Ooh. Roll for initiative. Oh, you can't uh -oh. say roll. That's illegal. Not anymore. It's, you haven't banned that word in hours. It's like, yeah, like 10 oh, minutes. Oh, is it, is it, is minutes. it for 10 minutes? Uh, yeah. It's like usually like five minutes, 10 as, minutes. As, yeah. as you open up the door, he, the, the, the dark. a perma ban. He looks at you and just goes, I, you're not the mics. Motherfucker, run, there's a cave in. <laughs> Hold on. What do you mean there's a ca Roll persuasion. <laughs> All right. I was waiting for it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hold, what the hold, fuck? Hold on. I yeah. genuinely that's believe that's there's fair. a cave in. <laughs> Uh, you you did legitimately believe that there was a cave in. Give me a second because my little uh, character thing isn't working. Un momento. Deactivate. Chef. So uh, as you say that, he goes, whoa, whoa. There's, there's a cave in. Yes. Well, get in here. Get in. Get in here. Don't die. So. Where's uh, the. Where's the other exit? All my tunnels have an extra exit for air. No, we're stuck in here. We're stuck in here, guy. We're stuck in here. We're, we're stuck in here. We're gonna die together. Me and you, Bob. Me and me and you were dying. Like this. Get in quickly. Bar the door. Don't, don't let it break. Bars <laughs> closes door. Lock it. Here's the key, and he throws you a key. Locks door. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Oh, Jesus! So as you as you come into this comes room, up the table. As, as the, the the room that you're that you're in, as you walk in, he's sitting at this table. There there are uh, was it six chairs all around him. There are cards on the table. There's a bowl in the middle with these little shards in it, and the room is lit. There's some broken vases. This room is clean, unlike the last one that you guys were in. And down down at the bottom. You can see that there's there's uh, apples and tomatoes and fruits and grains. Um, there's uh, some baggage and luggage down south. Basically, all that they have been stealing is sitting in this room. Essentially, he's and as you come in and you lock the door, 
Uh, he looks over at you and goes, Oh, oh, I, uh, hi, I'm the Dark King. Have you come to serve me? Pavani just slams his talons on the table. I came here on a bad bet. Well, on a bad job. Uh, and now there's a cave and I don't want to die in here. What do you mean there's no extra way out? Why are we trapped? What's behind that door? Is there an airway out? Pavani is visibly panicking. Uh, no, that's, um, that's, uh... I mean, you want to go tell the 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 edgy king the the that 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 there's a I don't want to be the one to tell him that there's a cave in. Pavani grabs him by the shoulders and just shakes him. I'm scared <laughs> of closed spaces. Let me out of here. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 intimidation. <laughs> Whoa! But you were really high. <laughs> you were so angry. One second, I'm just looking for intimidation. Yeah. He's just more panicked than you, Okay, 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 okay. Look, calm down. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. There's no reason to worry. You know, little cave-ins happen. There's that big room. Maybe we could just push through. How about... Do you want some drugs? Pavani is just hyperventilating at this one. It, it'll calm you. It, I'm going to die in here. It, no, they'll calm you down. Here, here, chew on this. And he throws you um one of the little flicks that are like the flakes. That are in the the bowl in the middle, and he flicks it to you. Just it it, eat it. Doesn't care. Just downs it. <laughs> My man. Okay. Good. 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 Pavani is just kind of rocking back and forth on the <laughs> chair. <laughs> as, so as as you as you take it in, a couple of things happen. Uh, first off, you feel like a a warming sen sensation over your body, like. Like, you know, when you're outside in the freezing cold and you come inside and there's a nice fire going like that, like your entire body is overcome with this nice, warm, comfort feeling. The next thing that happens is that your brain goes to about half tilt. Um, You're a little high. You're a little you're a little high, you know, but but in a good way, like, like you took a like a muscle relaxer high, not like you've been smoking pot high, like muscle relaxer. Like your body's just like, woo. So my brain is in boot sequence. Yes, brain is in boot sequence. Have you? Is that what did did the did uh I shit I shouldn't have I should have asked you questions beforehand. Uh, did, did the what mics questions? make it? I don't think they made it. God. All we saw was all I saw was one other guy here. Well. Oh, who, oh, you're talking about Cosmo, the little son of a bitch? Yes, the, the, the man with the rats. Isn't he just disgusting? Who, who messes with hair? Who cares like that? I don't know. I think they all look disgusting. Yes, yeah, very nice. Very nasty. Well, you want to play some cards? Do you have any money? I kind of just examine quickly, eye the table, half dozing. Looks at the hand in front of me. What's what's on the cards? <laughs> so, so on the cards in front of you, you know those uh, those like like joke cards where it's like half naked women. Yeah. So you have you have uh, like two queens, a ten, and uh, and uh, and and a two. What's the name of the game? It's 21! Asking, it's, it's, do you know 21? I'm familiar with 21. Ah, I, that, that, that's it. You try to get to 21 and bam. Pavani puts 10 silver coins on the table. <laughs> okay. You as, as you and him sit there playing, playing cards, we're going to, I'm going to help Bell up. We're going, we're going to go back, uh, to the other room. Uh, you oh, guys that's wrong spell. Uh, yeah. So strange. Bell's just on the ground, uh, like hugging his knee. Uh, and like, he, he, he seemed like he, he is not used to, this is probably the most, uh, physical activity. <laughs> Probably actually, okay, well, you know, this is, this this is the is longest he's probably been outside in a while. I was about to say physical activity. You were you, you studied though. Yeah. In short I'm bursts. Not outside. In short bursts. In a cave. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't even wait for Bell to like writhe in agony. I just like put my arms on his shoulders up. and like 
<laughs> pull him out of the way of the just, other like, people. Just, like, pick him up and then just move him to the side. Exactly, so everybody can get through. Quick, after that bird. Where the <laughs> fuck did he go? So, yeah, you guys see the same thing. Is there, thing. like, a You're, trail of feathers? Hold on, we have to oh, uh, leading I the mean... way. I mean... Like Bill. a quick bit, uh, as Bill is laying there and Jahan is passing, Jahan's just gonna slightly tap, poke him with the quarter staff before continuing. All right. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> Don't step on the blood. Oh. Ew, that's nasty. Uh, really is. I hope that's not. I hope that's not what we were here for. I Are you okay to walk, walk, Bill? I mean, do you want to check uh... it or? That's all good I, idea, isn't it? I, I fine. It just slowly gets up. You don't have to move quickly, just move. How would you want me to do it without don't have to touch it? I got a medicine. Oh no, you can just look. It's a female okay. horse. You can tell. Yeah. It's Ew. Um and <sighs> Z is just gonna walk away. Cause no. no. Now is this exactly. Is this like that one way to prepare duck or is this uh, this is the, this is to feed the animals. Damn dogs! It's a horse from us. On the plus side, that, that means no horse for moist. <laughs> that says white, you son of a bitch. Yeah, um, yeah, that doesn't make it good. Moist doesn't it. need a hoist. Just saying. Moist, you hoist you. He's nasty. No, he's he's gross. Um, we can say uh, she died with dignity. And then walk away. We can, mm. in fact, lie. <laughs> that, wait, wait, wait. You can do that. Deception is oh, always. There you are. I Sorry, I'm blind as a bat back here. It's okay. Just walk forward. Lost its lunch is a better way to say it. Wow. It did. Looks wow. like someone made her lunch. Are you are you trying to open that door, uh, Jocasta? Just shaking the handle. Okay, um, hold on. Pavoni, as you sit yeah. in the room playing cards, you are up 10 silver. <laughs> gotcha, and, I, and I'm just talking to him. Yeah. Why do you go through all the trouble to rob people? You know, we made a killing in, tax, in the taxation office. Oh, the, so for us, it's more about the, 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 the needless violence. Look, we're, we, we were put here. We were told to like watch this place and we were promised a bunch of, we, the world will be our oyster and you know, we, we shall, we, we shall be cleansed of all impurities and yada, 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 yada. Anyway, some people just gave us some gold. We have nothing to do when you get a bunch of these little stupid mites in a room together, right? They just go out robbing and looking for a little extra coin. And you know what? The boss is cool with it. He gets a little extra. We get a little extra. And it beats just sitting around here toying with ourselves as he yeah, so, uh, as he waits on the sacrifices to come. I mean, that's no different from the hustle we had at the taxation office. You just have a little bit more weight or a little less. You collect an extra coin or two and then you keep the difference. At that very moment, you hear the doorknob start to jiggle. Oh god, the rocks got here! <laughs> rocks! I will stab you with my scimitar! I thought a scimitar was used more for slashing, not stabbing. You can use it for both! And with those okay. rocks come through, I'll show them how to stab and slash! Can we? Yes, this? good. We can stab the rock. I yes, so. Yeah, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys can hear <laughs> Pavoni made a new friend. <laughs> Pavoni is operating at half gear. <laughs> Z's just like, did you knock? Uh, not yet. Um, <laughs> rocks, you can't come in. You, you, you gotta stay out there, rocks. You're not welcome in here. I'm surprised they learned manners. I think they oh. just fell on the door. Uh, I like my answer better. <laughs> no, they're gonna try to bust down the door and come in here. You're not welcome. We don't want the roof to fall in. The door stays closed. Pavoni, it's not rocks. It's us. The rest of the party. They can talk. Oh, oh my! Oh, they're <laughs> smart. Yes, they're, they are. They're like the they're like the the clay golems. This is bullshit. This is stupid. Can I attack the door? Uh, the, you can, you, if somebody has, like, thieves tools, they can unlock the door. I do. Oh. Uh, 
Uh, Tall, if you'd be so kind. Absolutely. Tall steps Thank up you. to the door. Also, watch out. They're okay. probably going to try and swing once here's it opens. A, here's what we're going to do. Hit me. We're going to grab the chair, stand on either side of the door, and when the rock comes through, we hit it over the head with a chair. Okay. Let's do that. Come on. So Tall it's takes tall here. Details. We're, I'm yeah. not being quiet. No, <laughs> they're not. They think yeah. the rocks are trying to get them. They're a little high right now. Yeah. yeah. So what do I need to roll for the uh, just the thieves tools you themselves? Can, yeah, you can roll the thieves tools okay. themselves. Cool. It'll apply all your stuff. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. Is it dex plus proficiency or something? Yep. Cool, cool. Where are they? It has a little formula attached to it. It should be in your inventory. Yeah. Oh, do I not see them? I oh, see here's them. a fun oh, fact. It is, it uh, oh, I think most uh, characters, like rogues, don't even Ooh. start with thieves tools. Uh, rogues, do. So... rogues do. They automatically. Okay. So yeah. unfortunately, as yeah. as you put your thieves tools in there, what you didn't notice as you were trying to unlock it was that Pavoni left the key in the door, and you broke off your thieves tools. <laughs> Awesome. So your thieves' tools are now broken with a nat one. Amazing. Great. This is how we start. Yeah. So ready. Get ready. Oh, I, hear I hear them. They're trying to. Not gonna, not gonna happen when that, that way. When that door opens, smash the chair at it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what rocks hate? Sitting. Can rocks also hate wood. Him, please. You think so? Uh, yes. Spells. Trees grow through rocks. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. I take out my crowbar and I say, will this work? Yeah, it'll uh, 100%. You can either uh, do it on the handle to break off the handle or you can do it on the frame to like break open the door. All right. I'm, I'm going to use my uh, my crowbar and I'm going to uh, do it uh, against that handle that took my thieves tools. All right. Can I uh sister? Oh, yeah, well, sure. Oh, yeah. The crowbar doesn't do it. Just roll, just okay. roll a d20. Hey, Crowbar cool. grants advantage on strength. Oh, my bad. Yeah, just do a strength check. My bad. My bad. Also, fun fact, I don't think Mage Hand, or I think Mage Hand can go through walls and doors. I think you need to see it still. Uh, the, in no way does it say you, can't, you can only move it to a place you can see. It just says you can move the hand up to thirty no feet. I feel like that's it. a dis that's a DM discretion, and I I'm not going. I mean, it would just go through and wave. Is that oh, fine? oh! You have to point to him. No, hold on, hold on. He's got a point. If you'd like to do that, I'll allow it. Yeah, the mage hand will just come through the door, uh, and it'll just like turn as if it's looking around the room it, it can't see shit it just uh waves i'm telling as you as, as, <laughs> go ahead as I'm soon just... as the mage hand comes through the door pavani jumps the gun and slams the chair into the tile in front of the door <laughs> you hear you hear wood smashing on the ground <laughs> z just like slides back a little bit more and sits on the ground the i'll get hand, another chair the hand is gonna feel against the door just like keep feeling against it to try and figure out where the doorknob well, is. Uh, 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 Tal's already broken off the, the door handle, so <laughs> you can just push the door open at this point. Uh, the mage hand opens the door from the inside anyways. Alright, you open the door. The scene that you see in here is Pavani... And this this hooded cloaked figure with a long nose and a long chin and goblin esque, but definitely not a goblin. He doesn't have like the green skin. He's got like that that white beige skin. And they are in sharp teeth, but not clean because he doesn't know how to put cocaine on a stick and rub his teeth on it. <laughs> and and they're both history is weird. As you look at them, their pupils are dilated so fucking much. They are high, and they are, they both have sticks in hand. Pavani, what do you do? Bell, you survived the cave-in! He looks very confused, cocks his head. Cave-in? 
Yes, the rocks were falling. Oh, he motions at his new goblin friend. Don't, don't, don't worry, Bell's harmless. I he looks up and around, and he, he just, like, is very confused. Z just buries her face into her hands. Uh, there was no cave in. I knew right. he was going to be this way. Pavani just kind of half stumbles. No, no, there was rocks falling. I, uh, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! We have we we <laughs> um actually uh, Bell, make me a persuasion at disadvantage. <laughs> Because you're going against what his new best friend Pavani said. Ooh, that was a very, very polarizing role. No, there. no, no, no! They're rocks attack them. They're not. They're part of the problem, not part of the solution. I'm the final solution. What? Pavani just kind of ponders for a brief moment and smacks Bell with the stick. Yes. yes. Oh. Roll for initiative. <laughs> God, it was piling everyone's hit Bell. BBB, let's go. Nope. Uh, Tal hasn't hit Bell. Yeah, I still haven't. Kamba hasn't started yet. About to. Uh, also, Z hasn't hit Bell. <laughs> Not yet. Not Pavani yet. is very confused. Uh, <laughs> so is, so really? is the Dark King. Uh, fucking do initiative. Do do oh, so the Dark King and the Dark Lord, are they different? Yeah. I think so. They are. <laughs> There's an Edge Lord and a Dark King. And mm -hmm. an Is it the Edge Lord, Dark Lord, or Dark King, or Edge he, King? He, he, I he's, do not know. he's the Edgy Dark King. <laughs> Basically, both of them have just started calling themselves kings. His, Lord, one's his, Lord Dark Edge, Lord, one's Dark yes. Lord Edge. Exactly. You, you're, you're picking up on it. That's exactly Edge what's Lord happening. Dark. All right, Bell. Uh, hey. After you get ledge. after you get hit by a stick, you are the first one. Oh wait, one he up. has to he has to roll damage. It's an improvised weapon, and because I have minus one strength, it's zero damage. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but why the, do you keep hitting me? Yeah, that's, uh, what, that's what you get. Suck it, suck it, Clay man. He's just gonna use his turn to like uh, rub his head where he got hit. It just kind of sad. He's just been getting hit all day. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, he actually, you know, he's gonna, he's just gonna, sit, he's just gonna sit on the ground. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, that's my turn. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Pavoni. <laughs> Pavoni just uses his turn to smack Bell with the improvised <laughs> weapon stick. <laughs> oh. It doesn't hurt a lot, but it still hurts. That's a very convincing rock. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it, it talked to me and I can feel its cold, hard depth, rock earthness in its soul. This uh, this this cave in isn't happening, man. Not like this. Avoid the call to the earth. <laughs> we will never be corrupted. That's my turn. <laughs> Wonderful. That you just leave. Bell, bell. It's you. It's you, Folo. If you're keeping yeah, up with I'm combat. Yeah, I'm thinking what to do because it's like the brain says, "Don't try to murder your teammate for being an idiot." Or uh, do. Well, your teammate right now is high no. as a kite and seems to have convinced the goblin fellow to start hitting stuff with a stick. Yeah. That's the thing. There's no consequences for killing the goblin. Unfortunately, Just the goblin move. is. I think the goblin's technically outside of my. Range of sight because I can. He's like halfway through that, past that door. Yeah, if you can't see him on yours, then you can't see him. I can see him, but I can only see half of him. Oh, then no. Oh, that would mean he has half cover. Cover. Yeah, he his yeah, AC no. would be higher. Yeah, but I think it's AC, plus AC is a myth. two. No, it's no, plus five for half cover. Yeah. And it's then crazy. for three quarters cover, it's plus two. Is that right? No, it's the other way around. Plus two. Yeah, and then three oh. quarters is plus five. Oh, no, yeah. We're not rocks, you idiots. Do I need to make an insight against that? <laughs> you seem like you're pretty dense. But um, He's got a point. <laughs> Wait, wouldn't that make you the rocks? Just because I rock doesn't make me a rock. 
But what rocks if we don't are rocks? Talk. Yeah, what but if we've been down here so long we've been made of rock. What world do you live in where rocks don't talk? Wait, what? I I don't even the drugs are real. Oh, you guys that yeah, there's there's actually like there's talking rocks in D and D. In my village, rocks talk all the time. This is how they murder you in your sleep. Now I'm do just... something before I kill you. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's how you know that they're real rocks because they run away because they're cowards. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Make a good point. Yeah, is... are, are you doing anything else with your turn? No. All right. Let me show you how it's done, my new best friend. He brandishes a scimitar. <laughs> my bad. Not not a scimitar. He he left that on the table. He's got a dagger in his in his hand. And uh well he looks down at the rock sitting in front of him and he oh, stabs no. at Bell. The sad rock. It is. And, and 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 he plunges down with his dagger. I'm dead. You can see poison dripping out of it. This this oozing green, and he pulls it up. That's how you kill a rock. Let's go. And that's his turn. Yo, he got like max damage on <laughs> son yes. of a bitch. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes. yes, he did. Yeah. <laughs> or he he didn't crit. Well, well close. Yeah. Wait, how much damage is that total? Uh a lot. 18. Oh no, I'm perma dead. No, you're not. That's that's double my max health. We don't do massive. I don't no. do massive. Oh. I saw you good, you good. Uh it's 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 your turn. You can pull oh, up the combat, combat tracker. Troops. Okay, I'm sorry. If you, ro if you right click the little fist thing, it pulls up the combat tracker for you. Oh. Yeah, so just th this little fist right here, this one, you can right click it and it gives you a pop up window. Look, I'm, I'm only in, in one spot at a time. All right, it's my turn. Oh, that's how you can make it at two spots at a time. Okay. Um, How big is Jocasta? Can I run underneath her legs? Uh, she's like a regular medium sized creature or Sweet. humanoid. I'm going to uh, run up besides Bell and pull out. You have to be on Bell's space, which is fine because he's dead on the floor. Uh, unconscious. He's just sleeping. I'm, I'm going to pull out my broom and insult Pavoni as I fucking smack the shit out of him with it. Oh, okay. Give him an insult. Uh, you filthy fucking little fuzzy man hurting people who are on our team. You need to get your shit together right now. And, and, and my, my broom doesn't do any damage to him because it's an improvised weapon. And it's his own feathers. And it's his own feathers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pav intervention. Are you going to let her talk to you like that? My God, look at that rock over here hitting you with your own self. Stop hitting yourself. You can see Pavani just kind of standing there, the gears slowly turning in his head, but he's still processing the statement and Z running at him. This is his brain's operating at half capacity. Let's see here. Are th Do you know these rocks? Pav dial up noises. <laughs> oh. Pavani, get your shit. Together, his name's not Pavani. Pavani. You don't even know oh, him. Provolone. I don't care what it is. It's the master of coin, you harlot. As soon as Z says Provolone, <laughs> Pavani just goes, "No shit." <laughs> Rocks. They're assholes. Pavani has put two and two together at this point. I think it's still Z's turn. It is still Z's turn. Uh, I don't think I have anything besides a bonus action that would cause. Uh, I guess I'm gonna like 
lean over Bell in, in hopes that they don't hit him again, and that'll end my turn. All right, wonderful. All right, so Tal can see Pavoni through the door, but uh, wants to go after the guy that just rendered her friend or party member unconscious. So she takes a step back. And she's had her short bow out since the goblin room the, yeah. with the, the hair guy. So she uh, is going to target said dude. And short bow. They're throwing rocks now! Do you see this? They're throwing rocks! This is like... And she's going to bonus action... Well, she's going to scoot over. Oops. Not target herself. She's going to scoot over and bonus action hide. He, he looks at you and goes, Sticks and stones may break my bones, but you will never get me! Well, with the door closed, it makes hiding easier. Oh, I was trying to click my control. <laughs> I was like, hide. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> That'll work. Sweet. Joe Costa. Oh, boy. Um, uh, so nobody can manage to uh, heal Bell, right? No. No. I can heal uh, okay. Bell. <laughs> don't, right. don't heal the rocks. Uh, Joe Cassa, very angrily, is going to point over at the edge lord on the other edge. You! What's your name? I am the Dark King it of the Abyss! It doesn't matter what your name is! Uh, she cuts him off. It doesn't matter what your name is! She leans down and casts... Uh, can I target? I don't think I can target uh, Bell Weapon. I'm casting uh, Cure Wounds on him. Oh yeah, you can. Hold on. Let, ah. me, let, me, let me move. Let me, will you uh, move your character? Because he can't. He can't target what you want. I'm just a little person, so I'll just move sideways here. Can you smell what the dark king is cooking? Huh. Sure. Well, well, that's what the uh, that's what the rock used to say. He'd ask someone what their name is and tell them that it doesn't matter. Uh, yep. That's one action. Uh, can I make a move action to jump over Bell and uh, whatever you can you walk like, over him? Occupy the. Uh, oh, actually, no, you can't sure. because both Bell and Meep are in the same location. Would just I be, be able to try just and because leap you're over camp? towards the guy? I'll tell you what. Make me an acrobatics check. I want to see Girl you. I want to. I, I want to see you backflip off a wall and over <laughs> them. Bam. Nice. Would nice. you like to discuss to me? Tell me how you do this. I want to hear it from you. After, uh, after calling that guy out and cutting him off on his speech, uh, Jocasta is going to lean down, cast uh, Cure Wounds on her dear friend, Belle, and immediately get back up, clench your fist, jump on the right-hand side of the wall, take another leap and jump on the left-hand side and tumble through the very top edge of the doorway to hopefully push the guy out of the way or perhaps land right in front of him. Or you want to go here or through the door? I want to be between him and Bell. Oh yeah, that's not that's not happening. Not uh, uh, behind him then. Oh, behind him. All right. Yeah. Waka! Uh, he he looks up. Uh, uh, Holy shit! Those rocks can roll. That was fucking awesome. Do it again. Mm. Oh my gosh! Uh, it's Bell awake with the cure wounds, or are they still unconscious? Oh no, they're they're awake. Um, they they're are, awake. but Bell Bell's alive but asleep. Bell also has one level of exhaustion. Oh no! Uh, because did... I died. Yep, because you died. So in my games, when you like my actual campaigns, when you go down and so, to to fix the yo-yoing, you get a level of exhaustion. Mm -hmm. Also, your mage hand went away. No. Uh, to the Padera, wake up. Bell, so help me, you better make this worth it and get rid of this guy right in front of me. And cast, uh, with the bonus action, uh, where'd you go? Uh, ah, Bardic Inspiration. Ooh, nine. 
That's great. Oh. Screamed. Uh, just I, for that bell I, for I forgot that I didn't change that back from a scream. <laughs> My bad. I was I was doing it's that as a joke a while ago. <laughs> it just goes. Oh. Uh, I'll keep it for now. I'll put that on my to-do list. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting that, huh? The screams of death. <laughs> nope, you weren't expecting me. Joe Caster. I think that's it. It's a move, a cast, and a bonus action. All right, Bell. Uh, Bell's you asleep. You're now inspired. No, <laughs> but I shouted at Bell. So, so. Uh, oh, that's a good point. You did shout at him. Uh. Let's uh, let's see how if he uh wakes up. So you're telling me that you can rock, you can roll, and you can scream? Yeah, Bell wakes wow. up. <laughs> uh, so he gets so Bell is on the ground after getting his head hit, and then he gets fucking shanked, and then just like goes unconscious. He gets up. He just like looks around. Oh, why is everyone so mean? And uh he will unarm strike this guy. Alright, disadvantage. Uh disadvantage? You have one level. First level exhaustion only is uh no, that's skill checks. ability checks. Oh my skill bad. Skill checks, okay. not attacks. That is fu that would be fucking insane if you go down once and so you're just mean. disadvantaged on yeah. all attacks. I think it's three levels of exhaustion yeah. gives you disadvantage on everything. Yeah, uh, two level gives you disadvantage on attack rolls and ability yeah. or skill checks. I think. Yeah. So if you go down again, oh. you have a disadvantage on almost everything. You get too many of them, you just die. Six is death. Yep. Let's go, Bazaka. Uh, I clicked it. Why didn't it? I don't know. Two levels of exhaustion is half speed. Oh, there you go. He has that already. Uh. You attacked me? Me, Rock? You attacked me with your meaty hands? Wait. <laughs> oh. You wound me, sir. You wound oh. me. Were these at advantage because we're flanking? No, I don't do flanking rules. Oh. Just like uh, you're not permanently... You your... Flanking is uh, optional, so is massive damage. And I don't do either. Did they add the bar inspiration to the attack? Oh, uh, it didn't. You don't add it to damage, right? You just add it to the attack hit. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's... to the attack roll. Yeah. You can uh... choose to expend it. Wait, how much damage did I deal for the first attack? Or did I not hit? Your first attack missed. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, can I add my bardic inspiration to the first attack? Um, If I remember correctly, you shouldn't be able to attack twice. Uh, bonus monk. You can bonus. Oh, that's right. Action you are a monk. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, can I uh, add my five? Inspiration? What is the? Yeah, it would hit. The... You, you can just roll a d4. D4. So it's just click the d4. Yeah, you just Blam. click it. Bam. Does a twelve hit him? What do you mean? Does a twelve hit him? He chose no. to add it's the 11. Bardic Inspiration to his 11 attack roll. Yeah, to the 11. Yes, so uh, as you see, it already rolls it for you up above, and he got a 5. Wait, so, it did? Yes. So you oh. apply 5. So... It just rolled it automatically? But what yes. if I didn't want to use it? Whenever you wanted to use it, I... you would have plus 5. Okay. Oh, so would a 16 hit then? Yes, you hit him. That's what yeah. that D4 was. That's your unarmed strike, and you did one damage to him. Ah, okay. Oh, that's what you meant. So it's it's one plus... Uh, what is my plus damage? Uh, plus dex, so plus uh, three. According to your unarmed strike, you don't have a plus to it. To it. Uh, it should be. I am proficient with my own unarmed strikes. Yeah, it didn't right. Add anything to the second one. It, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It didn't add it to it. We'll find out later. Okay. I think it should probably be plus six damage, so it'd be five Excuse plus six, because it'd be plus three for both attacks. 
Okay. Well, you know, we'll we'll grind this to a halt while I look it up then, yeah? Yep. Okay. No, I'm fucking joking. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. How many I'll times do I have to tell you guys, like, let's, let's like, can we do this it. either after or something? Uh, You're uh, also level okay. one, so, so for you to have, have a plus, uh, a plus six on an unarmed strike and be able to do it no, twice, even as a monk. to both unarmed strikes. Yeah. So, so plus six damage total. You don't kill them, but yeah. No, no, obviously not. Uh, Pavoni. These rocks are smart. I have an idea. Athletic, too. Bafani's <laughs> just turning to look at the Dark King. Yes. Here. He, he reaches out a talon to touch him. Oh! We shall do this together. We die as brothers. And after Z smacking the shit out of Pavani, Pavani just point blank guiding bolts him. <laughs> What do I roll for that? Because normally a ranged attack is disadvantage. Um, it's magic though, yeah? Yeah. It's not a disadvantage. Alright, let's see. <laughs> so you want to describe what you just did to your friend? Well, Pavani realizing that shit was hitting the fan, Bell actually got stabbed and was bleeding out, and then Z smacking the shit out of him, he just kind of reaches forward, puts his hand on his chest, and just fires a bolt of radiant energy through his torso. <laughs> and as he goes down, he looks at you and goes, Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> And he is dead. This stark genuinity. This, this, I panicked. Um, <laughs> as as he hits the ground, though, I uh, he burst into flames, death flash. So I, uh -oh. uh, uh, when the darkling, which is what he is, dies of uh, a non magical light flashes out in a ten foot radius, which is. Well, the three of you that's sitting around him from his body. Um, but basically everything on him burns. I need the three of you to make me uh, DC 10 constitution saving throws to see if you're, well, it's to your next turn. Well, let's just see if you're blinded for a second, you know? Would I Flash be? No, yeah, you're, you're, no, you couldn't see it. You're uh, behind you're a wall. Okay, oh, I'll no, 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 that's right. You're right on top of him. Advantage or disadvantage? Oh, let me, you know what? I'll just do this. Bam. And it'll do it for me. I, I rolled earlier, and I, yeah, I double rolled. Yeah, so it didn't fine. hit me. No, it no. didn't hit you. Oh, that's it, cool. It, it, it would have, because he was on top, because basically you and Bell were right oh, there yeah, on top right, of each right, other, right. but it's fine. Give me, I'll, I'll, I'll it's, look. It's, PC constitution, I'm going to say. It's I'm just blinded for a second, and then it just goes. Whoa. That's fine. So, so uh, three of you, basically, as he dies, uh, his body goes up in a very uh, wonderful, non-magical, bright light, and you're blinded for about six seconds. Ow, my eyes. Uh, this has been an awful day. I'm just going to pat your head in, in attempts to soothe whatever the fuck is going on because I can't see anything. <laughs> You're patting a rock on the wall. <laughs> yes, that was the goal. Oh, rocks. All right, with that, we are ending this evening. So thank you guys. Uh,